Hello and welcome to another edition of uh, Cross Dimensional Showdown, number 11. That's right. We got some Soul Calibur 6 going on here. My name is Silio. This is Lord JT. What's up? Uh, and we're going to be running Soul Calibur as our main main <laughs> side. We, we haven't really def determined what. We just happened to start. We're just going to be starting Soul Calibur now. And uh, then we're going to have a Samurai Showdown a little bit later. Probably not a big... Um, bracket may just it may just be a best of 10 but you know we'll see yeah we'll see so right now we got streets we're good. and he's gonna be playing gerald who's up against streets we're looking at uh one of the cyanide house boys uh chcg amy is that what he's going oh, yeah. is that what he's deciding to go with so it's looking like amy and he's gonna be playing 2b yeah he's gonna be playing 2b and then Streets going Geralt. We actually saw this matchup a couple times about a month ago, although it wasn't these two. It was actually it was Streets versus, I think, you. Yeah, it was. It was a fantastic set. This is actually a kind of exciting matchup, uh, especially if both players, uh, you know, don't stay too far back from one another. If they keep a bit of a passive or aggressive play style. This is really a fun matchup to watch. Yeah, it's true, like... It's true aggression coming out from the 2B and then a uh, very reactive situation that the Geralt can be in. Here we go. Streets going aggressive at the start, getting some damage in. And they are already swinging it out. Nice sidestep there. There's a lot of pokes right now, trying to find an opening, and there we go. Oh, but uh, Amy drops a bit of a combo out of aggression shift. Streets making a bit of a comeback. Trying his best here. One more mix up will catch Streets for either one. Either way. And now Streets takes round one. Just a sliver of health. Very, uh, not patient, I would say, but but uh, they were swinging it out. It was a brawl of a first round. Absolutely. Yeah. Try to step back. You know what? That, that button, it's big, it's long, but it, it's not necessarily smart for 2D. You mean the uh, back button? Yeah. Yeah. Back Y. I think for in this matchup, either way, a back step can get caught for big damage. Yeah, absolutely. So I, yeah, I kind of like the idea of, of both of them just staying right up and uh, Streets rushing in there with the twin shield. Got some big pressure, but now he's the one in the corner. Fights his way out with Igni. Getting a lot, get, catching a lot of just not blocking. Yeah couple of drop guards there that I don't agree with, uh, especially that little roll forward that you saw. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was an easy block or even a sidestep. Maybe he maybe he accidentally, like, crouch ducked it last second, trying to sidestep. Crouched it, maybe tried to push a button. Yeah. So, anyway, Street's dominant game one with a perfect to cap it off. So he's moving into this next game with plenty of momentum. Yeah. But you know, there's the bracket tonight. We only got like what six people, eight seven people, people? Eight? We eight actually people. have eight. Nice. But like, it's eight. Voltier City is happening on the side. It's. I feel like it's gonna be one of the a more casual night of everything. But you know what? That doesn't mean we can't have some good. Wow, catch fishing with that last hit of the. Uh, I can't even think what it's called. Right here. Uh, Amy getting a little bit more aggressive, putting the mix-ups on. Look at this, just K, 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 aggression shift, K, over and over again. Vertical. And he's got, oh, went for an unblockable to close out the round. All he needs is just one poke, and oh. that cost him. That absolutely cost him. Yeah, that unblockable was a incredibly low reward, high risk kind of play because he just needed a small sliver just of health. Just needed a low, needed something. Streets pushing his stage control. I think Streets is going to get caught a lot on his spacing. Maybe not in this matchup, but even later in bracket, he whiffs a lot in people's face. And sometimes he's either, uh, you know, too far or just way too close. And uh, his GI gets called out. That's a it, yeah. That's a hit. It's not a grab. It is not. It looks like a grab, but it's just uh. It's just a hit. Yeah, I think it's a high even. Yep. So getting punished for that critical edge. Streets 
looking like he was going to be down this game at the very start after a, a very strong round one from Amy, but then he got rung out and the momentum, as you can see, has completely shifted. Reversal edge to deal with aggression shift, great option. Who wins it? Yeah, it goes with the K. It's always a smart idea. People really enjoy going for that vertical that option as at least the first of the first of the RPSs. And there is the grab. So Streets taking that 2-0. Uh, seemed like a lot of strange whiffs and not a whole lot of punishment from Streets on those whiffs. But definitely no damage coming out of that soul charge yep. for Amy. So 2-0, Streets taking that one. Yep, and uh, Mr. Streamrunner, who's up next? Uh, Slim. All right, Slim so I read. And Soviet Siegfried. Very cool. Yeah, so obviously Soviet Siegfried, we know who he's going to be playing. Slim King's he's got... He's definitely going to be playing... Nightmare, right? Yeah, I was <laughs> actually going to say Nightmare, but then I'm like, I could get a better joke, and then I couldn't. <laughs> no, he's he's going towards uh, he's going towards Siegfried for sure. And then we're going to see Slim King pull out possibly Nightmare, possibly Astaroth. Uh, he's got a couple different secondaries. Mm -hmm. He said he's trying to learn Shang Hua, but he thinks he feels weird, so we probably won't see her. Uh, and Slim King coming in uh, second the past two times here at uh, Cross Dimensional Showdown for Soul Calibur. So uh, a solid player for sure. He would be the favorite to take this, but Soviet Siegfried uh, playing a very strong character with a bunch of tools, and uh, as long as he makes a good use of them, could see an upset. Yeah, I mean, it's always that's always something about these, uh, especially like Soul Calibur. It's like yeah, like. Experience definitely is shown and is very rewarded in a lot of situations in the in defense and in offense But there's always just the times where it's like Sometimes the right button in the right place could absolutely be what you need to win not only a round but a whole set Yeah, and uh, on top of that a lot of new gens have come into uh, You know playing the game recently. They're not necessarily uh, You know like veterans of the series although there are of course a lot of those as well but uh, some new gens have been making big waves. Like, uh, for example, Vinson over in Southern California just picked up this game as his first Soul Calibur. And uh, he beat one of the best players in the world recently at a local. So just because you're uh, a little newer to the game and you don't have quite as much experience, it doesn't quite mean that you'll automatically be at a disadvantage. It will be tough Welcome for Soviet to Siegfried, though. History, Slim King, uh, again, second place twice in a row at this event. He's a strong player for sure. Yeah, who am I against? I will end this nightmare. Starting off. Yeah. So starting no, off. Stay tuned, everyone. Next match we'll see Lord JT versus the Freaks man himself, Punished Joseph. Man, do I do I go two B or kill against him? I don't know. Oh man. Well, right here we are seeing uh, Nightmare versus Siegfried, two sides of the same person. An interesting dynamic. We'll see a bunch of, you know, Nightmare stuff just yeah. coming out. And the interesting thing about both of these characters really is that they're not exactly block punish characters. Uh, you know, like, for example, like a Sophitia would be a very strong block punish character. Nightmare literally does not have a frame 12. He has to deal with those situations in other ways. Uh, Siegfried's frame 14, frame 12 punishes are okay, but not the strongest. So, this will be, for sure, all about the pressure and the mix-ups. We're playing a bit of a poke game right here. But there is the pressure and there's the whip punish. Yeah, Slim King crouching that high is key to taking that round because uh, it put Soviet Siegfried in the corner and getting hit. Yep, soul charges out of that hit. And now Slim King in a very good spot to take this massive damage. Soviet Siegfried and Dark Legacy. And that small little combo, of, uh, not the most rewarding confirm, but it was enough to take the round. And of course, the more damage you stack on top of each hit, the better. Slim King, quick game one, very dominant. Not really much to, to really say there. It's like, uh, Soviet went for all the, the smaller the pokes that he could try to get out. But even then, there were some 
not necessarily safe buttons, but then again, it's Siegfried. He has some safe options, but if you're trying to get just those, those, the neutral scheme of hit, block, hit, block, sometimes you got that game plan go is a little more risky for at least the bigger buttons. Yeah, you've got to threaten some more damage, I think, with Siegfried. If you can threaten the damage, your opponent has to be guessing, and I think Slim King's done a much better job of that with Nightmare. Uh, constantly putting on the pressure, not just threatening a couple pokes here and there, but saying, every time I hit you, you know, you're taking a ton of damage, and you're set up for another hit. This is something that, uh, again, we haven't necessarily seen from Soviet Siegfried just yet. Puts himself into terror charge. Gets the low. Another dominant round. Goes for the drop kick. Eats. Lower stance B. Back in terror charge. Oh, and got caught trying to advance in stance. Uh, Slim King sniffing out a little bit of fake pressure there. That's going to be not only the, <laughs> the knockout, but the ring out as well. I haven't seen Slim King go below half health this whole set so far. Nightmare lower stance B. Nightmare players love that lower stance. They smell blood and they can get that B. They're going for it. Oh, but the oh, ring out. Oh, there it is. Steal the round. Soviet Siegfried putting himself on the board and slowly uh, tips out. Slim was laughing at that in the camera. And a whiff punish with critical edge. Not necessarily the best option in my opinion, but it definitely will get some kind of... I mean, get something out. You get about, what, 80 damage from that. He was almost at full meter, and now he spent some of it. I think it was a good resource management at the very least. Uh, but now, it looks like he might get rung out right here. No, not quite. Soviet Siegfried keeping himself in. This goes for a random critical edge, but he's gonna, that's totally safe. He can't be punished for it. Oh, and doesn't go for the low, hits him with the uh, mid instead. So, two rounds now, and this is going to a final round. Yeah, but he has... Oh, oh got, some, got something there. Yeah, the break attack beat through the revenge move. Yep, soul charge, reset neutral. Slim King needs to get his aggression back. That's what was winning him uh, the first game in those first two rounds of this one. Soviet Siegfried dropping guard. He's eating a ton of damage. Eats the Nightmare Lower Stance B again. And there it will be. 2-0 Slim King. That was a good second round, out, though, coming out from Soviet. This guy, this guy got into it. Yeah, round and four, yeah. he looked solid. I gotta go play now. Yeah, Lord JT is up next against uh, Punish Joseph. Round four, looking good for uh, Soviet Siegfried. Uh, Killer Kutubi. You gotta go Tubi, right? I, I, personally... It depends on who you're more comfortable with, but I think I would go Killick for the lows. Killick's low pokes. I kind of want to play Killick right now. Killick's low pokes are good. I'll play 2B later. You'll catch Nightmare out of his revenge options more. I think it's Killick. But 2B's got good low pokes too. Yeah, I so. I'm just going Killick right now. A welcome, Slim King. Hey. A dominant game one. What's going on? And a contested game two. Yeah, just you got a round stolen from you. He hit me with the old school. So, oh my bad. Yeah, you're good. Sorry. Everyone has to get right a little here. accustomed to it. It's fine. Thank you, sir. I don't have one. Okay. No Twitter. No. <laughs> I like <laughs> you put a ghost whenever no one was there. That's fine. <laughs> Omega, always running our stream here at Freaks very, very well. Thank you to Omega, everyone in the chat, whoever's there. Give a shout out to Omega. We got anyone in the chat? All right, that counts. So, next up. Oh, you Lord know what? He was he was asking me to play Killick or Two B, and for some reason I was giving him advice because I thought he was about to go against you, even though you just played on stream. <laughs> I was telling him about nightmares revenge attacks and I was like go kill it cause low pokes are really good yeah but he's not even gonna be playing against the nightmare he's probably gonna be playing against Mitsurugi or Talon or Talon yeah 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 Joey plays a little bit of Talon I think his Mitsurugi's a little more threatening but, yeah uh, I would agree generally I think Mitsurugi's threatening in general that guy's damage output is massive but uh Lord JT saying he likes he's thinking about playing Killick right now hey Got a shout out for Omega. 
Appreciate y'all. Welcome to the stage. On behalf of Omega. Retold. So let's see who the character picks are. It's looking like I think it would be Killick versus Mitsurugi. We'll see. Yeah, I think so. Punish Joseph taking uh, the Samurai Showdown tournament last time. Uh, I doubt he'll take the Soul Calibur tournament, but <laughs> he, he does decent enough. So he's, he's pretty good at Sam Show. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Running through the weapons. Yeah, we're gonna see Mitsurugi versus Killick. And uh, just last night, I started learning Mitsurugi, playing him, and I feel like his neutral is a little strange. It's not necessarily conventional, and I don't think Joey knows uh, the stance transitions, which I think is such a key part of Mitsurugi's gameplay. This. So Mits maybe after this tournament, we'll teach him a little bit. Next time we do this stream, we'll be scared to punish Joseph's Mitsurugi. <laughs> Mitsurugi's 50-50s are pretty good. Yeah, yeah, he's got Between the... Uh, 1B and 3B. 1BB or 3B, you're taking at least 50 damage either way, up to 90 on the 3B if you crouch guard it. Dangerous stuff. Yeah. A really good character. I think so too. I think Mitsurugi is very strong. 2B, also I think a sleeper, super strong. Uh, sorry, yeah. not 2B. Uh, Killick. Killick. I don't think Killick is as strong as 2B. So let me take that back. I think Killick is alright. Uh, but he's a very well-rounded character uh, with options to cover a lot. It's just hard for him to press damage sometimes. Killick is a very poke-based character, I've noticed. His post-GI game, though, very is, good. is absolutely absurd. Yeah, so I think uh, if JT gets a couple of key GIs, he needs to be looking for some of those uh, 4B lethal hits, for sure. And Joey, threatening damage, actually pretty good there. Just staying aggressive. Some risky options, but one's the hit. And the launcher for more JT. A little bit of damage. Ooh, goes for, I think that was 6 A plus B from Joseph. Gets a lot of damage out of that. And you can tell he's catching JT crouch guarding sometimes. Oh, goes for a random critical edge. It's majorly punishable. JT gets just a little bit of it. Contested round. Now the reversal edge. Let's see who takes it. Clash round one. JT going for kick round two and getting it. Oh, and the tech crouch under the high. It's one to one. He's got to be a little bit careful with that reversal edge, though. Yeah, I've seen it come out a couple of times. <laughs> Joey's definitely been keen to throwing that out a ton in the past. Yeah. I think it's just a, a panic defensive option. 6A plus B. Lots of damage. JT's guard damage. Goes for B6. Misses the grab. JT in the corner. Another reversal edge. Hits. Gets hit with the A. Yeah, Joey's gotten punished for reversal edge a couple times. Lost those uh, those mix-ups. And very low punish on the guard break. JT, though, going to get caught by Joey's 2B. Very quick upward slash. One of the only frame 13 moves in the game. I think it might it's actually. Frame it's frame 13. That's... And minus 7 on block. It completely disregards the even number rule this game has going. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, and there comes the critical edge. As quick as it is, it's a good interrupt tool. Snipped out the aggression. Though. Oh, incredibly punishable, sure. But when the opponent doesn't know how to punish it properly, yeah. why not I mean, go for let it? Let it rip. Uh, he does it, it again. Does it again. He's looking to close this game out. He's at low health, but he does not want to lose this round. And if he does, he'll get one of those meters back. Goes for the grab. Runs up and grabs. Yeah. Caught JT. That was gangster. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> when you know someone's just going to stand there. Run up and throw him. Yeah. It's a good option. I was playing against this Aslamel player the other day. Aslamel players? They'll make you freeze up like that. Sometimes you it, feel like you have no option against them, and so... It's very hard when he has meter. Yeah, because you almost feel like you can't even press the button. Yeah. You can't throw out anything. Uh, JT getting a little bit of the fear in him. 
And that's a uh, game one for Joey. So 1-0. Going back to the same stage. Oh, gets him with this rookie's AAA. Super slow third hit in that string. Can actually be interrupted by it. A couple moves. Trading pokes back and forth. Here we go. Tries to throw him again. Breaks it though. Yep. Reversal edge. See who wins this. And again, JT getting a little bit out of it. Did he try to sidestep there? I'm almost thinking that if Joey's really smart, which I'm not sure if he is, but if he's really smart, he's doing that to get meter, which gives him more opportunities to throw out critical edges. Like, for example, look, at the end of that round one, who's got a bar and who doesn't? Yeah, I so. mean, that's a good strategy with him, too. Goes into Relic. Oh, and catches nice. the guard impact. Mitsurugi stacks on damage so fast. JT's got to find a way to deal some back. Spending uh, a lot of time in this. Is it again? Guard. It's getting low. Oh, and breaks it. it. What's his punish? Solid. Not too bad. Not too bad compared to what we've seen. Yeah. So, one to one. Joey content to stay back for a second. But now he's up against the wall. And getting pressured. Goes for the grab. Tried to hit him with the <laughs> what ended the last game. Oh, and the long range. Horizontal ring out. Killit's ring out game is so good. He's got some good ring outs for sure. That's not good. Reversal edge again. He's already got full meters, so we know it's not as cool. I think he's just uh, yeah, he's just using it as a defensive option. Uh, and JT's been winning so many of those reversal edges. If I were Joey, I would use a little less of it, find a different way to get out of pit pressure. It's a grab again. JT. Oh, he's back turn. I have no idea why that happened, but it did. So. Uh, <laughs> it causes a whiff, very unfortunate whiff for JT's killing. And Joey's gonna throw out that Mitsu CE. Two to two, contested second game, very close. One B, A plus B, whiffs the second hit though. Goes for the low, while standing AA. Nice aim for that. Hits the reverse ledge this time. Flash round one. Joey, the most unlucky person with reverse ledge. Has he won one of these yet? I don't think so. And a lot of them have clashed too. So he's been losing, uh, you know, like second round. The second round when he's the one initiating. Oh, and that's gonna get reverse ledge. Eats some damage. Can he win one? Guards it. <laughs> he's not trying it again. I think he realized he was getting hit every single time he was going for reversal edge, so he tried guarding it instead. Uh, I would have just gone for it, because if anything worked, if anything worked, yeah, you win. I would, I would have taken the odds. Screw being unlucky all those other times. Try it again. <laughs> Blocking is sometimes a good option, but sometimes you just take so much guard damage for it. Uh, yeah, and against Killick, I don't think it's a good option because you know a lot of characters their punishable uh, reversal edge option is K. Yeah. Helix is a break attack, which means if you is block it really? that, it is. If you block that, he's a plus frames. Ooh. So he was, Joey was essentially giving up any chance in that reversal edge of getting damage. And for having his opponent that close to dying and sealing out the set, I would have gone for it. Yeah. But he switches to grow. Is he? Oh, uh, uh, changes change the, the weapon. weapon. And I think he's gonna use the absolutely most disgusting grow color. Oh, well. thank God. Which one's the grossest one? Color two? Color four. Oh. Swamp Grow. He's got a tan. He's wearing, like, green and, and tan colors. It's disgusting. But he instead goes for the pretty cool red and black. And uh, JT also... Actually, they both switched characters. JT's going to uh, 
2B. 2B, yeah. So let's see, maybe we'll see some Avenger mix-ups, some longer block strings from JT. Both of them backstepping, leaving a ton of space. And uh, lots of 2Bs in this match, regardless of the character choice. Wait, did you finish it? 1A catches the low, trying to put on no, pressure. Broken it. Goes into Avenger. Again, but that one's punishable. Breaks the grab. Whoa, double whiff. And JT, aggression shift B, getting the low. Low if spear. Yeah, if you're not reversal edging, that's a really scary mix up. That B will do a lot of damage. I always just dug. Because <laughs> it's either the lower the throw. It could be the spear. Uh, uh, the, what option is it? I, I think it might be uh, A plus B or B plus K. I'm yeah. not 100% sure. I don't know the notation for uh, 2B that well. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Joey going into Avenger, trying to get some mix-ups. Tech crouches all those highs with 2A plus B. Run up reversal edge and reversal edge again. This guy's a madman. Oh, he oh, catches Joey. Hits him. The one time Joey wanted to use reversal edge to deal with that stance, that situation. And that's our option to beat it, right? Yeah, that is. Step back, throw out the rocket punch. Solid damage off that option, too. It's a good yeah. call out. Gets a launcher, no follow up, though. Throws out. Critical Edge catches the aggression shift coming in. 80 damage coming up. This is Joey's way of staying Good in the game. He's on winner's bracket point. And goes for the low. He takes the round. Two more to go if he wants to stay in winner's bracket. JT in the advantage for sure with two bars of meter and up around. Up around. Steps with the auto step of one of Bro's moves right back into the attack. Reversal edges, but re releases it too slow or too quick, rather. Blocks that full block string. Goes it's hard to, to stay patient and block that. Yeah, sometimes you want to interrupt it, get tagged for it. This round looking like Joey's interrupts the critical edge. That looked like a uh, that was a self destruct, right? Yeah, that was a self destruct. That moves pretty slow to come out. Indeed. So it gets interrupted by a frame of 18. Now, last point. Soul charge gonna put 2B on the ground. Joey. Going oh, there he goes for the Steed of Night options. Doesn't get one AK. Could have been big damage. Interrupts the critical. And Joey's in a good spot. Nice. Caps it off with a perfect. What a comeback. That was a hell of a momentum swing. Show respect for the fallen who fought so bravely. Catches him trying to steal the turn back after those plus frames on 2A plus B with while rising B. So Joey, two to one over Lord JT. With that said, gonna be moving on in winners. I think this last winners round one is gonna be uh, myself. So we'll see y'all in a little bit. Oh, you, you know what you did. You yeah. know what you did. You were pressing buttons. I w I was trying to put out push his buttons. <laughs> Why are you guys here? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Good games, man. Yeah. He just kept yeah. pressing he just, buttons. Yeah, he just, that's how he plays, man. He I, just keeps pressing buttons. Yeah, I know. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure my button can outbeat his. No, it can't. Probably can't. I'm just pushing the wrong buttons. Yeah. I think he pushed the wrong one when he tried to do that super. Twice? That moves slow, man. It is so slow, but it's so cool. It does a lot of damage. If it absolutely it. does. Who do we got coming up next? We got Infinity Ring versus Solio. Okay. I've never seen Infinity Ring play Soul Calibur. Neither have I. But he's... 
just in general pretty good at fighting games. No, I mean, he's not. Welcome he's not to bad. The stage sorry. of history retold. Zasolomo. Show me what you got. Okay. Cool. Thanks, man. Yeah. So the Geralt versus Zasolomo. Zasolomo. I was like watching Solio's Zasolomo. Yeah, Zas it's really fun. To watch. Oh yeah. I, I, I think uh, this matchup favors Zas a little bit. Yeah. Because uh, he just controls space. So Absolutely. Well. Yeah. Yeah, Zoss was one of the characters that had, in the very beginning, I'm like, oh yeah, this character's cool. He's a scythe boy. Yeah. And then I'm like, wait, Puts he has a lot of you. weird stuff, and I don't. Yeah, he's got some it. stuff. Yeah, he's got some stuff. And Geralt was one of the characters I learned originally. And if you want to win using like three moves, you should play uh, Geralt. Oh yeah. Because you will use those moves at this for the, the entire time. Alright, let's see. Time stop. I think he only had one curse. Yeah, he did. Nice, 6B. I believe that's 6B. I believe it. Look, it, it was a vertical, so it was B. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's just doing a bunch of pokes. He jumps it. Ooh. Nice. That getting both of those just frames back to back is incredibly hard. I believe it. Because it's a uh, one of them is slide and the other one's motion based. Curse Two it. curses? Or no? Curse, Got curse him. into super. Throw the slash. That's gonna take it. Snap. That super has got to be like one of the best. I love in the that game. super so much. And it's not even that, but the properties on it are so good. It's a GI. It's a break attack. Yeah. And you can't even like step it after the flash. Yeah. You have to step it preemptively. It's just a really that moves good buff. super. Oh yeah. <laughs> Not only that, it's got like the coolest looking animation. Oh yeah. Oh, tech trap. Three AK. And I believe that's a forward throw. Yeah, I think so. Oh, great end Oh, there yep, there's the GI. There it is. It's so hard to press this character when you need it. Oh, lethal hit. Time stop. And there it is. Just the pressure game that this character can pull is amazing. Yeah. Uh oh. Wow, nice block. That back turn uh, kick is actually, it's a knockdown. Oh. And you just have to guess it. Soul guess charge? It I love that, the little bit of flavor that Soul Charge animation has of him drinking one of the, um... The Witcher potion? Yeah. And that was a very quick, uh, 2-0 for Solio. Nothing that... It was what I expected. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I gotta go play. a little bit of stuff. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Good luck, Street. Street versus Slim. Slim, yeah, Street versus Slim. Yeah, I was right. No, no, I was like, I know Streets is supposed to be playing. He was in the first match. I know this. I know this.
But hello, welcome to Freaks and Geeks Weeb Win or not Weeb Wednesday. Wow, it's Friday. That's the mix. It's actually all anime in the end. As I push up my non-existent glasses. I actually have a pair of fake glasses at home. I bought them in Japan because you know what, why not? Is Golden Boy having like live music right now? Well, that's what I'm hearing. Yeah. That I can I can see that now. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. No, it's actually just Sneak live music. All right. Well, that was that. He said he'd never played the game before. I believe it. Asked me not to bully him before. Oh yeah, we need to a fight. Stage of history. Uh, fly. Can you commentate? <laughs> He'll find a way. Oh, hey, wait. Someone I know is watching. That's kind of cool. <laughs> What's up, coffee? Alright, here we go. Gonna learn me some Soul Cow today. Yep. We're gonna so. teach y'all. I'm gonna I'm gonna train y'all up before I leave today. <laughs> I, I'm I'm legit. Dude, I mean, like, Streets is definitely, like, I think... Uh, Streets knows like, what he's doing. Yeah, Streets knows what he's doing. Like, he definitely has, like, a passion for this game, for sure. Um, like, Joey would probably be interested in learning some more. Probably Lord JT as well, but... See, yeah. Soviet Siegfried seemed like he uh, wanted to learn a little bit. So, I don't know Siegfried too well, but I can teach him. Goes for the unblockable yeah. setup. Puts himself in terror charge. That's a really good setup for Nightmare. Yeah, now, like, the bit of Nightmare I've seen, he seems like he's very momentum-based. Like, once he gets his, like, strings going, it seems like it's really hard to stop him. It certainly just, like, can be. All over, all over you. Like, that that charge he gets, like, I'm not sure exactly what it does, but it it, gives it's him, never good. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's... It looks like. If he's in that, you're, you're in a tough spot. Basically, it gives him additional follow-ups. It gives him higher damage uh, on some moves. Uh, better combos here and there. Okay. It's just uh, generally you don't want him to be in it, you know. <laughs> that is fair. Yes, Street's trying to find something here, but oh wow! I, I'm not sure if that was uh, Street's messing up the reversal edge or if that was Slim King like baiting it out. Putting the pressure on, but Street's holds that reversal edge long enough. Yeah. It's blocked, and good punish. Oh, what were you charging up there? Yeah, he was uh, trying to do the Yurden GI, okay. but Slim King caught him with uh, low instead. Okay, man, that was, was a quick round. Slim King, like, is this main Nightmare or is it Astaroth? It is Nightmare. It is Nightmare, okay. Yeah, Astaroth okay. is his best second. Well, I think his Siegfried is solid too, but Astaroth is his is one of his secondaries. Okay, yeah, because the first time I saw him here, he was playing, like, mostly the Astaroth, and I think he... He uh, pulled out the uh, the nightmare against you, like when he absolutely had to. Yeah. And then, then you bullied him in grand finals to <laughs> not go uh, y'all's mains. Well, yeah, I went Zassel and Mel. Yeah. That was a that was a whole month ago, man. Oh, good memory. Was, <laughs> I had I had good memory of that because number one was the first time that I came here for a fighting game. Second, because I've made a highlight reel and had to watch those matches oh, over yeah. and over again. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Slim, Slim King is up one. So, uh, going for that Nightmare lower stance, Slim King loves using that, especially if he knows the opponent won't deal with it properly. There, wow, I actually caught him with that. I yeah. don't know if he was pressing something or what. No, he was in stance, so he couldn't guard. Ah, I got you. Oh, and Street's wanting the unblockable setup, but doesn't quite get it. Uh, throw him. Oh, wow, good tech that time. Streets close to death. Okay, yeah, he's just like doing what he can to like just use reversal edge to get this pressure off of him. And seems to be kind of working out for him, but that's gonna be it. Yeah, the Yurden GI catching Slim King, coming in with an aggressive option, pressing a button at the wrong time. And uh, Streets make it a bit of a comeback to take that round one. Uh, uh, toss him up. All right, I assume he gets a mix up after that throw as well. Um, once he throws him up, then like this follow up there. Nightmare? Yeah, Nightmare. He gets a mix up in a lot of places. <laughs> so I guess it's fair. It seems like it's more of a coin flip after he gets that throw, and it's just a. Uh, so Slim King just, was back turned in a situation there a second ago, 
it was like an Oki situation. It was a weird back turn. Uh, but he has a lot of health down right now. Uh, partially because of that. Ooh, but Streets is Yurden gets called out. He needs to be careful about those. I noticed Streets loves to use the Yurden over and over again. But uh, the issue with using it too often is that if they don't use a quick attack, you know, on block, then you'll miss it. I got you. This is really punishable. Yes. Yeah, Gerald's left, like, super wide open. Uh, all right, he gets that charge. Oh, and he steps. Oh, wow. All right. We're okay, though. Gets the sign turd grab. Last hit. Streets burned his art and didn't expect the terror charge follow-up. So now he's a little low on meter considering he just got one. Oh, and tries to burn some of it right off the bat. Yeah, just soul charge up. Get off me. With punish. Solid, solid damage. That's a ton of damage Man, for a small whiff punish. Again, gets caught on the Yurden. Back tech gets caught. Stays on the ground, gets hit. Stays on the ground again, gets hit. Man, no mercy here. Like, the wake-up mix-up seems like they're kind of brutal in this game. You, like if you uh, have to guard nightmare stuff in Terror Charge sometimes. But he finally lands a Yurden uh, in Streets, trying to make this comeback happen. Oh. Gets caught out there. He chose a slow attack, and since uh, he was at disadvantage, basically anything that Nightmare threw out was going to be uh, the interrupt there. I think they were both going for break attacks, actually. <laughs> okay. So, 2-0 for Slim King. And now he moves into uh, winner's finals. Yep. Against the winner of me versus Joey. Joey. Yep. Oh, that'll be fun. Yeah, this is a... Be a grow ditto, I assume. Where are you gonna go, Zaslamel? We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> I may, I may throw out the Mitsurugi. Oh, all Mitsurugi right. ditto. See if he can, yeah, see if he can do. A, he'll do a Mitsurugi Cause, ditto. Because he did, he did a grow ditto with me the first time we played. It was pretty funny because he immediately switched off of grow. <laughs> he was like, I don't want to play this character anymore. <laughs> so, uh, but we'll see. I think me and him are up right now. So yeah, I'll go yeah, play. Yeah, you that. guys are up next. All right, good luck. I'll do what I can to at least commentate on things. Just have to fix the couch. We're uh, a bit weird. Oh yeah, you guys, what are you doing watching this stream? Why aren't you at LTC seven <laughs> happening right now? Hey, you need a yeah, I do. Mind if I leave this here? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So, yeah, this is probably the last time we'll ever run this ad since yeah. LTC is happening right now. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Sorry, this is for all the people who are either too poor to go or too busy working. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you know. You know, or, or all, all the other uh, uh, all the other FGC people that are waiting to play their games tomorrow. Right, they're I just kind of hanging out, waiting all like, okay, what's Freaks doing tonight? <laughs> yeah, because I think yeah. um, if you like Sam Show, stay tuned. Well, we yeah. Hopefully we'll be able to get some of that on stream for right. sure. Uh, Streets TM. Streets TM. TM in capital letters. I actually updated my Twitter account finally. Oh, nice. nice. It's pretty it's empty, but it's there. <laughs> I got you. I'm still trying to figure out how you use Twitter. I'm an old, I'm an old man trying to figure out how to. That, yeah, Streets yeah. TM should be it. Yeah. In the meantime, my name is Solio, as you can see right now. Oh, ooh, ooh, there, ooh, there we go. go. Hey, okay. There now it's better. All right. Anyway, so Joey is now gonna fight Solio, and uh, well, yes, the big uh, doing it. the big piece of advice we gave him is to win. He's gonna have to win in the ditto, though. Let's, let's this gonna is, see, because uh, okay, the thing about Solio's Mitsurugi is that it's not even 24 hours old. Oh really? He mentioned that just okay. earlier today. Like he started playing this character last night. Okay. All right. So anyway, let's yeah. see how this goes. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Probably gonna of button check. Yeah, Solio has enough game knowledge, I think, to be able to, uh, you know, make do and like at least play like the very basic neutral. With yeah. It. I mean, maybe not be able to do any like the gross mix-ups that Mitsurugi has, which I have no idea what those are because I barely know this game. Right. Uh, it's all good. But you know, just generally how it goes. But, oh, they're going right in. All right. It. So okay, can we get uh, camera back on it, please? Yeah. Yeah, there yeah, we go. Looks, yeah, it looks like they're not going back out. All right. So Okay, he got a hit in. That's good enough. There we go. All right. Yeah, we're hanging out pretty close to this wall. All right. So yeah, this stage actually is completely walled in. There are no ring outs whatsoever. So, in this case, you are trapped with your opponent and you have no way of cheesing them out. Yeah, and since this is such a new Mitsurugi for <coughs> so you know, like I expect out of the two players that he would have the wall combos, <laughs> and I, uh, don't probably, yeah. I don't expect him to have any wall combos here, but oh my gosh. Okay. 
Yeah, but it's almost going. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, has him in the corner though. And I'm not seen... sure what that attack is, but it's how come? How come I've never seen him use that combo until now? What, uh, Joey? Yeah. He oh. said he hasn't been labbing this game at all, and yet he's doing stuff I've never seen him do before. That, see, that's the Joey special. That, yeah, I like, suppose you're right. He's like, he's like, wait, I have what button now? Oh wait, I can do that? Yeah, and then he just starts doing it a bunch. Yeah. Oh. And, that's yeah. also the Joey special. The okay, I have no other options, so I'm just gonna use my super. But hey, it worked this time. Yeah, so. that was a that was a whiff punish, I believe. Yeah. So that's like <laughs> the little bit of that I've played. Like it seems like supers are pretty fast, so it's not that bad of an option to like. Yeah. If you're gonna use it as a quick option to right. punish something, you just gotta hope your opponent isn't anticipating it and then just holding up guard. That's true. Yeah, well that too. <laughs> uh. yeah. yeah. So he's going for a lot of these uh, vertical attacks, and again, those are so Mitsurugi's best options. Ooh, yeah. Oh, good guard break. Stuff there. Oh wow! I have to go for the reversal. Oh, there. and now he's returning the favor. No. Yeah, Solio did not want to lose his turn at all. Like, he just kept, like, after he got done pressing the buttons, went to that reversal edge, and was like, you know what? I whiffed that. I'll just super. <laughs> I say, I won that last one. I want to win this one, too. Yeah. <laughs> He's here to win. <laughs> got him with the grab. And then again, technically, we all are. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. I think he really wants it, though. Yeah. You know, I think both players really want it. <laughs> want it, want it. <laughs> Joey kept saying, I'm coming for you. Coming. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, got him okay. with a low there. All right, all right. Oh wow, that's. Oh, he still has soul powerful. charge, just a teeny bit. It's about to run out though. Okay, there it goes. And all right. Yep. Solio yeah. takes game one. Yeah, he doesn't need close to win this match. Nah, he's been naked like the like. Like I, I don't know like what round he lost all of his armor, but it was, uh, it was pretty quick there. So nudity makes you stronger on this planet. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen Kill a Kill? Uh, yeah. Okay. That, yeah, it's. I was technically referencing uh, Team uh, Four Star there, uh, but you know, I guess that does apply to Kill yeah, a Kill yeah. too. <laughs> I only even think about Kill a Kill because of uh, the new game that's coming out. Yeah, or, it's out. Actually, yeah. Kill Kill when does that come out? I think it's already out. Wise choice. Um, if someone in the chat knows the answer, can you please tell us? Because <laughs> we're dumb and we we'll, don't know. Well, we'll probably do it at a Weeb Wednesday at some point. Right. We're, we're, we're taking claim to that game. All for right. The weebs, but we have a double character switch with the the Talim. All, All right. right. So, I've only seen Joey's Talim once, and it was against me, like, four weeks ago. I don't know how much he's labbed her since then, so... Yeah... Well, <coughs> I can answer that. Probably zero. Right. <laughs> Probably let's, not at all. But let's see if this... Oh! He's doing a lot of the back steps. Uh, he's just confirming that, you know, he knows how to back step. Okay. But, it's like, don't rely on it too much. Talim's back step's kinda slow. <laughs> yeah, her movement options are really cool, though. Like, the Talims that I've... Oh, yeah! They're, uh... Got all sorts of like baits and they got lots of hops. Yeah, lot, lots of jump. But that being said, this stage, just like the last one, is also completely walled in, so there is nowhere to run, and Solio is going to take full advantage of that fact. Yeah, and going the secondary yeah, here yeah. too is Oslamel. Like he, he was like, all right, you know what, game one, that was pretty fun. It was okay, pretty, yeah, it was all right, um, let me cute. let me get a teeny bit serious. Yeah. <laughs> Let, Let me go. use 20% of my power. <laughs> Let me go ahead and move on to winner's finals here. <laughs> but uh, it's that the Joey factor though is real, so you never know what's gonna happen here. Um, if Joey can get any kind of game plan going, which Solio is not giving him a chance at all in that oh. guard break. Okay, there we go. Ooh. Yeah, look at them. They're talking to each other. Like They're Joey's to. like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Help. <laughs> It's like, oh you wouldn't God. hurt me, would you? God, you wouldn't God. hurt someone who has no idea how to play it. Oh, oh, there we go. Wake well, he knew how to do super. that. Wake up, super. Let's go. Joey special. There we go. Yeah, it seems like the pressure in this game, like, if you know how to apply it, it's so oppressive. Oh, yeah, absolutely. With. It's kind of ridiculous. He tried going for it again. Oh, my God. But he just canceled it out. All right, and time that's... No, there we go. That's it. Clean 3-0 by Solio. Uh, yeah. Sorry, Joey. Maybe better luck next time. <laughs> I'm surprised the grow didn't. Uh, he probably <coughs> wasn't gonna go the grow because he didn't want Solio to do the grow ditto. Yeah, because he was saying not. last time that like when they did the ditto, he was just like, <laughs> he just <laughs> he felt bad it. afterwards. He was like, it's like no, because like grow is technically Joey's main. If you know. Yeah. Um, but as, as much as you want to give it a main. Well, it's kind of like the thing plays. is like when you have someone else who like mains the same character you do, and then you just fight them in the ditto, and then they just completely destroy you. 
even if you know they're better than you, it's kind of demoralizing. It, it does feel it's bad, like, for sure. Why am I even playing this character? <laughs> But at the same time, it is cool to see, like, all right, these are the things this character can do, like, at a higher level right. than what I'm at. So, see, like, like oh, the, you know what? I didn't know you could Well, like, the best advantage the... is, like, in situations like that, also just kind of take notes of what it is that they do. See if you can apply that to your gameplay style. and oh, Or, yeah. at the yeah. very least, know what to do next time, like, how to counter it properly. Yeah, I actually really like mirrors. Um, they're not so fun to play in brackets specifically because of what, oh, yeah, you know, exactly. what you're saying. It's right. like it doesn't feel good when you lose the mirror. Right. Uh, but but if you can find good... if you can find someone else that mains the same character and you can practice with them, that's a good way. Oh, yeah. for you absolutely. both to learn the character. Yeah, absolutely. Because like, I mean, no matter what fighting game you're playing, like if yeah, like each person has their own take on how to play a character. Oh yeah, and absolutely. so like you get different ideas it's and get applies to, like, to this, really... applies to Tekken, Street Fighter, Smash, yeah, yeah. Na you name it. Yeah, it, it's 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 a cool universal things. concept. It's one of the cool things about fighting games, personally, because like it's not. Like, you play the character, therefore you fit this specific archetype. It's like, there's different variations within that. Yeah. But... I've got to, uh, we're in a quick intermission at the moment. Yes. Just making sure we get some Samurai Showdown things going. Um, most of the players seem to be trying to go for five, so we're trying to do a Samurai Showdown. Okay. Five. Five How does that work with the venue? Uh, so, you, they don't... If they've already entered the bracket, they don't pay venue. Um, okay. Then they just pay an extra five. Cool. Oh, okay. okay. I'll deal with yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I assume it's gonna be everybody. So for for those of you at home, we are figuring out the uh, Samurai Showdown stuff now that this is week two, three. I want to say week two because I remember. This, this, this is fun. sorry, sorry. Yeah, this this is technically our second week doing it. It's technically our second week doing it, but it's the third week. Anybody but here to enter um, Samurai no, I'm I'm good. I might Let's pass do. on it just because simply I haven't actually played it at all yet, so I don't want to get like completely demolished. I hear you. Next time, though. Yeah. Next time. I, I do want to give the game a try. Some, yeah. Hey, yeah, well, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Cool. So, yeah, we're, we're cool. taking a little break, guys. Right, Sorry. Trying to do some communication there. I'm sure <coughs> you guys can probably hear most of it on the mic. Yes. Yeah. I think the... I'm trying my best to not cough into the yeah. mic right now. <laughs> it's okay. Because it's cough. allergy season and it's we are. Sick. Some of us are being affected mm -hmm. by it pretty heavily. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah i'm a i've been avoiding that as much as possible i've been trying to drink water and stay you know right stay high stay, stay inside as much as possible <laughs> oh well in that case right. okay so oh yeah yeah so do you mean to do it now uh, it's, yeah it's on stream so i'll walk back here okay unless you want okay. to like get your hands to be warmed up nah it's okay okay All right. well then we'll we'll probably like right, just cut. let me know whenever you're ready we'll, we'll probably cut for well we, we can just talk and just hang yeah, out yeah, just hang out like that's that's all fine it's like i just i technically only commentated one we'll, set so we'll we'll, we'll, we'll podcast <laughs> we we it was like okay so while we're here doing commentary all our buddies went over to golden boy coffee that no, thing no, right we, there no, we, we, can, yeah, we can go yeah. over there and just see like, this sign right here see this sign <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> just, oh, okay. yeah. Well, we'll just like, we'll just put it as a ghost or whatever. But and then somebody in the just comes in the twist stream and then they're like, "Hello, <laughs> hello, where's everybody?" Is, <laughs> this is not Soul Calibur. Yeah. This is not Soul Calibur. This is not Sam Show. What is this I've title? I've never heard of Golden Boy Fighting Game. Golden Boy Gold. <laughs> <laughs> the Fighting Game Golden Boy. Oh, you but know yeah. what we should do? What we should do is like if we ever do like a custom character tournament, we should have the Golden Boy. The Golden Boy. boy. The golden as like boy. the sponsor. Oh yeah. my god! <laughs> this guy right here. Somebody make that, dude. We if got, somebody doesn't do it, I'll we'll, do it. <laughs> we'll we'll have like the golden boy. We'll have um a version of Joey and a version of Alec, like yeah. in there too. So it can be uh right. golden boy versus. Funny Freaks story about that. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I actually for fun I organized because I realized I had like a hundred characters in this game's character creator. Oh wow! So oh. I did a hundred man tournament and I recorded every single match. Oh my. god. Wow. What I need right. to do is I need to stop being lazy and I need to hurry up and finish editing the highlight reel for it. But I have like a couple of previews if you want to like kind of okay. get an idea of what I'm trying to go for. Uh, have you seen, uh, do you follow any like Smash tubers? Like, uh, Every now and then, okay, yeah. Uh, are you familiar with Alpha Red yeah. at all? Okay. Yeah. Have you seen his... Uh, he does something kind of yeah, similar. Yeah, yeah. Like, the, the computer tournament that he yeah, does? Yeah, but the, the catch with that one is like he does it like on a weekly basis. Uh -huh. And I think like the characters that are in each tournament kind of change every now and then. There's a couple of mainstays and characters that kind of like... Because I think yeah, he's... He, He's kind of like made a bit of an arc with it. Yeah, or something he like made that. a storyline with it, which is hilarious. Yeah, it's kind of funny. But it's funny to see like the options that computers go for, and like the super sick stuff that sometimes will just pull right. out of nowhere. And you're like, what? Right. How do they? 
Well, no, there's what? something kind of funny about that, like, that applies to this one. There was something I noticed multiple times, because what I did was uh, I had them all on AI, and I set them all to the highest difficulty. Every single... Siegfried actually has a very funny break attack, where what he does is he, like, uh, first, he swings the sword, like, horizontally towards you, and then he, like, kind of turns around and then swings it again the other way. Okay. So it's, like, first is kind of like an overhead, and the next one's a low, like a low sweep. So there's something interesting that uh, if an AI actually did this multiple times, I witnessed this like through five different matches, five different CPUs all did the exact same maneuver. Once they noticed that the Siegfried uh, character was doing that specific break attack, first they ducked, and then once the second one started coming by, they jumped. <laughs> so they did like a little duck and then jump maneuver, and I watched that five separate times, and I'm like, how do you know how to do that every time? Dude, like, every time I see that, I just kind of freeze up. It's like block. Well, because you're also not a computer that can frame one yeah, read like frame right. one read like oh, there's the move, do yep. the thing, do it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember it was just the funniest thing, being all like, he, he, they know, they just know it's they, going to happen every single time, and they're just prepared for it. <laughs> that that is pretty funny. I mean, yeah. it's also interesting, like on that note, like watching the computers play, like you know kind of see like what may be some options that work in some situations that no one's done except for the computer right like you know ducking and jumping like, <laughs> like over this a one of those break attack. Like, everybody always just kind of either gets out of the way or they back up but the ai no they have like that you know mindset of like i'm gonna do something really cool that no one ever thinks of doing duck duck <laughs> just don't get hit <laughs> just don't get hit forehead <laughs> um yeah, we're out here just chilling, guys. Getting some Samurai Showdown signed up. Um, right. We're gonna have more Soul Cap <coughs> on stream. Yeah. Um, Apparently, I'll be yeah. up next. I'm not sure who I'm fighting yet, but should be. Uh, oh, no, I, I fought him. I just no, fought no, him. No, it would be. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, so me versus JT again. Oh, JT. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Yep. I fought him last week, or not uh, last time, the time before, because I was at Acon. So, yeah. we'll see how that goes. Oh yeah, you were it. What's up? I, I tried to. The problem was it was at the exact same time as a, as one of the JoJo photo shoots, and I was dressed up as Joseph Joestar. Ah. Oh, I don't think I saw you there. That had more priority because like that's only something that happens at an anime convention, and while you're there and you're dressed up as the character, y you gotta go. You gotta go yeah. to it. I it was funny that. though because uh, like. Because I don't know, for, for those that don't know, Akon was at Fair Park this year. Yeah, yeah, I, I was yeah. I was helping out, out there. Yeah. yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, like, I don't think the location was absolutely terrible. It was less than ideal, but we were able to kind of make it work. Although some of the photo shoots, namely this JoJo one, had some rather interesting incidents. So this was at, I think, location D. Uh, this was, like, slightly outside of, like, the fairgrounds area where the actual convention was. It was, like, this little rocky formation where, like, you could kind of, like, go on these little walkways. And it was above a pond. And there was a sign that said, like, you can walk on the walkways, but please don't fall into the water because that might disrupt the wildlife that lives in there. So I'm not sure who it was at Akon staff, but they decided, hey, let's have a photo shoot in this little walkway area. Oh, no. Don't get me wrong. It's a really cool idea. And, like, if there's, like, a little, like, if it's just one or two people well, and, like, they're just taking pictures and they know where to step, it makes for some really good photos. The problem was that there was a group of people there. A group of people. A group of people, up. all dressed up. Yeah. And there was a lot of instances where we were trying to get like a group shot of like everybody at once. So what ended up happening? Do I have to go? Okay. Up to your story. Yeah. Okay. So what ended up happening was uh, long st to make a long story short, uh, two people fell in the water. Somebody was able to walk it off, and they were kind of like just they were able to laugh it off and like okay, it just happens. The other person was not so happy, and they started going off like having a tantrum and like swearing at the top oh, of her lungs no. and I, I felt bad for her but at the same time it was like do you mind having your tantrum like over there because the rest of us are still trying to do a photo shoot yeah I can kind of understand because yeah. like those costumes like take time oh yeah they absolutely ruined, do so. okay yeah all right. all right anyway that was my story I'm gonna go play a match against JT now all right good luck thank you and by the way, you should have entered that Soul Cal tournament. You probably would have won, I, or I would have made, made or made well, second. Made no, one. you would have made second at the very least. The guy that made second, all he did was reverse ledge and sweep. Oh wow! <laughs> That's right. all he did. Ah. So, oh gosh. Hello, fellas. Joined by JoJo. What's up? Please.
ladies and gentlemen. Just make sure it's uh. uh well. Yeah, just talking well, into the mic. I, we, we right. yeah, we we All may right. have to like. Cool deal. We may have to switch it back or something because I think it's. I, I think what's happening is like people are talking like this, yeah. and keeping it too much <laughs> to the side. We'll like figure it out. Really well. Yeah, I think that there's probably something, maybe like the positioning we can like fix or something a bit more. Yeah, that that would help. But yeah, sorry, we got new mics, guys. We're still trying to figure out like what we want to do and what the best thing is. Um, but yeah, cool. About to get started here. Um, I think. Well, if you can find somebody for me, I suppose, because I don't know this game. If you want to get people that know what they're talking yeah, about, I can that, that are willing too. to commentate. Because I uh, only half know what I'm talking about. I think Welcome you know more than what I talk about, or what I know. Howdy. No, it's a bot. <laughs> is it? Lord JT versus Streets. Is it a bot? It is. Give How it another. You know? Yeah. Give it another, like, 10 seconds. Oh yeah, yeah. I get it. I get messages sometimes. Oh, about that stuff. And it'll be like, okay. hey, I like your video. I do things. I found I found you on the Freaks and Geeks channel here on Twitch. But well, you can find Lord JT in streets here on Twitch. Yeah. Um, gonna have the Keelik because <laughs> JT has been fueling Keelik a bit. Um, I try to get him to con convince him to play 2B solo and not go to the Keelik. Believe in the waifu that believes in you. Um, but. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're stuck here. Uh, if you want, it's probably gonna go away. Um, yeah, but yeah, this is a uh, losers quarters, I believe, uh, is what this match should be. So, trying to fight, see who gets into losers semis to make that uh, to get that fourth place. A single slash can cut um, even the it's a pretty tough, uh, pretty tough game. Yeah, it, I was ta talking to Streets about this, and it seems like if you know how to apply your pressure, like it is so hard for people to deal with it. Oh yeah. Because once you get the knockdown, like you just get constant mix after mix, then they're like pretty safe. All right. Me personally, I don't really know too much about it, so whenever I'm playing, I'm like, I don't understand. You know, some of the things like when you're down, some of the attacks just connect while you're down, and some of them aren't. Yeah, it depends on the wake up option that you do, from what I can tell. Mm. Um, if you're if you choose to stay on the ground like that, like. Um, and not go for like a roll or for something that's faster than like they can just keep, you know, uh, poking at you and attack on some more damage. I believe Tekken's the same way. That's fair. I think it's just a 3D fighter thing. Yeah, good tech there from JT. Yeah, I, I imagine it's going to be a bit hard for Keelik to like kind of play his ranged game because I think that, uh, I forget what that fire is from uh, Geralt is, but that's got some pretty good range on it. And, yeah, just, uh, Gonna go for the reversal edge here. Reversals, yeah. Oh, and horizontal attack to take that. Ooh, yeah, I'm not sure like how easy it is to combo off the reversal edge if you don't do the reset. Um, I do know like the more times you tie the reversal edge, the more like knockback you get, so you can get like more, bigger combos and things like that. Uh, but yeah, just get off me. Uh. -huh. Oh yeah, you can definitely combo after that. That was uh, just not the right option there, but that should be death, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, got him with that nice big old sweep. I'm not sure like what the wake up options are that beat uh, certain aggressive options while you're standing. Like, I know you've got like the weight, the roll, and then is there like a get up attack? I haven't really found a get up attack, but I'm not really privy to it. I think certain characters might have get up attacks, but. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna go into full edge mode here. Yeah. Oh, oh man. I think that's a I think that's a parry. I'm not sure. That's just a really fast move that Geralt's got that I've seen come out a couple of times in the streets here. So just to give you guys a little history, Omega here, he won a Soul Calibur tournament that we uh, have. Oh he's gosh. just he's retired now. I'm reti yeah, retired. Yeah, I, I won. I won once. I'm retired. He picked up uh, the game day of, beat everyone, oh and then retired. <laughs> Technically, I guess it was my second day, but uh, yeah, this is losers' quarters, by the way, going up here. Uh, the streets up the game. It's just like, it's the kind of thing where um, we've got players here now that like obviously know what they're doing. Um, so it's when you go up against a player that knows what they're doing versus you who's still trying to like learn the game somewhat. Like mm -hmm. it's the skill gap's pretty big, and it's kind of obvious to see like, yeah. all right, I, he just does not know how to deal with the pressure because he just doesn't know what his options are in this situation. Yeah. <laughs> For me, it's just like a mash and mash and pray. Like, well, if I press diagonal on these buttons, 
Yeah, and well, JT taking that round though. Kind of yeah. like keeping it simple, just playing like a bit of pokes. Just kind of like playing raw fighting game fundamentals, not trying to like apply any soul caliber mechanics or pressure there. That was a good uh, sidestep to uh, avoid the reversal. Okay, blocks. Oh, oh good. Ooh. That was a uh, Yarden? Yarden? Oh. Oh, I think he was Spurden? trying real hard to get that ring out. Uh, oh, low kick will take that one. Yeah. Watch your feet. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, I think what uh what Kalex really needs to focus on is his spacing. Unfortunately, Geralt is just saying, no, I'm going to be in your face the entire time, but that yeah. stick can keep him at bay. Yeah, that's kind of the, the, the problem for sure is I don't think JT fully knows how to create that space so that he can play that more zoning game. Uh, and just kind of outspace uh, Geralt. Ooh, but... Goes for the oh. edge and yep, so stabs him it. right in the chest. That's one of the things where you have to know what's going to connect afterwards. And I think he and I both suffer from that same problem. Yeah, that wake up... Uh, Yarden? Is it Yarden? Uh, Yarden. That wake up Yarden just uh, getting JT... Catching JT off guard like quite a bit. Ooh, yeah, goes for a slow button there and Street's able to punish accordingly. Reversal. Uh, oh, another stabby stab. Yeah. JT is really good about winning those uh, reversal edge block uh, of scissors. Guard gets broken. Oh Combos my gosh, galore. This is bad. Yeah, get off me. I need to create some space here. Oh, he just oh, goes right oh, oh, he went. Oh my. Wait, what? Is that a command grab? <laughs> I think so. I don't know what just happened. That was wild. The battle is over. Show respect for the fallen. Yeah, he was just like barely out of range of that. And then, yeah, right there, Street Scrab whipped as well. Indeed, I, I do was, believe I'm uh, just a next against yeah. Soviet terror. Probably. But yeah, that was good stuff. The streets taking that 2-0. Um, again, kind of got to see the uh, the difference in like people who've labbed the game <laughs> and people that like are <laughs> still learning it and uh, that's, that's you know, yeah, just yeah, that's fine. Believing in like just having a good time is always a good reason, you know. I'm like, yeah, I was really just sitting there being like. F it. F, just, just, yeah. Is that a command grab? That, uh, yes. okay. I figured as much. That looked a bit unfortunate because he was, Streets was definitely afraid. He was, he was like holding, like, uh, we got it back here. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, just out of range from that command, that command grab, though. It also does one of the most damn, it's one of the most damaging supers in the game. Of course it is, because it's a command grab. Of Absolutely. course, of course, why not I make like the, of course, of course. And then you were also soul charged. That was probably, uh, that's, that's how you do it. Oh, that's how you do it. You does, have to be soul charged. To do so it. then does he, does he have a different, um, yes. super? Okay. Okay. His if he's not soul charged, then like, it's, uh, a high. Okay. That, oh, okay. It's just like, a, it's just like a normal one for most things. Um, it's just like a normal super for his nor for normal, but then if he's soul charged, what happens is lore wise, he removes his the belt that he has around his chest, which is Kalam Yuga. It's like one of the three, like act like um, treasures of the world. Okay. And he actually has two of them. The second one of his one of them being his staff. And okay. basically his. The monster he was at was attacked by the darkness, and then, in order good old darkness, <laughs> and then, to, in order to save him, one of his old like friends, put the belt on him. No, I think it was actually Swordmaster put the belt on him. It was one of those two, um, and then it was like that contains the darkness within you, and so what happens is, he for his soul charge he releases he breaks the belt, releasing the darkness inside of him. So what happens is he actually starts to lose health. Oh, does he actually lose health? He actually okay. loses oh, I didn't know health that. I didn't during know that. his soul charge up until like a certain point where it's like one hit will kill him. Okay. And then it will drain his meter. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. He's like yeah. one of the three characters who have like a soul charge super. The other one being Aswell, who's is really cool. He actually summons like... He summons soul edge and soul caliber and then makes them like... the tips touch and creates like a black hole okay 
All right, never let the tips touch. Just good, good life advice in general. Okay, okay Sean's yeah. doing business at the moment. We yeah, can, we, so we, we just, we just, we just chilling. We have no more ads to push or promote Low -tier anymore. City is well, right low, 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 yeah, low tier city is happening right now. Um, none of the FGC stuff is happening today. It should be tomorrow. Um, it's, it should all be like the Smash games doing doubles and everybody going out there to play friendlies and check out the venue, all that stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah, actually, can we get an update on how our boys doing? How the boys? Okay, okay, so we're still we're so waiting on a uh, a friend, Comfy Dubstep and Birdman, team together for uh, P plus doubles, and they uh, they're yeah they're they're they were in winners finals right now. We're, they're waiting to play on stream, but I think losers is catching up first, and then we'll they'll probably do that. Yeah. Losers quarters. All right. Yeah. The other boys. Okay. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Or at least like losers finals. It'd have to be the. That'd be pretty good. CHCG. Yeah, Deku's not even using the CHCG tag. It's probably whatever he had in Smash GG. Yeah. He uses Deku's. That's what he's using. Okay. okay, so that because Deku's is like a tag he's had for forever. We he just like randomly became comfy dubstep after he started showing up to Weeb Wednesdays, and he was like, Oh, it's a funny tag, or like I think it was I don't know what the story was behind it, but like he went Deku's like one or two weeks and then comfy after that. But and then we don't like change, yeah. Well, we like change if we are Soviet Siegfried who changes his name based on the game that he's playing to Soviet whatever, uh, versus. Versus Punished Joseph, the FGC counterpart to the JoJo that we know from Smash Brothers. Um, Talon. Yeah, yeah, playing Talon, which... Wait, wait, hold know. on. He's not Punished Joseph. He's just Freaks JoJo. Just Freaks JoJo? He's not playing an ah. edgy dude. He, play, he plays Dark Pit in Smash sometimes. So I wonder, does that mean that Punished Joseph also exists in Smash? I don't know, dude. Huh. That's uh, that's one to. Anyway, one we'll the name. To, yeah, one we'll have to debate. Let's do this. But yeah, yes. Yeah, <laughs> still, this is a uh, kind of a freaks classic, just in general. Um, specific, specifically for Soul Calibur, I feel like these two play, like pretty much every time we do Soul Calibur. It's kind of unfortunate because it's you know employee versus boss. Um, Sean is. Or Soviet Siegfried is obligated to lose every match he plays against his boss, otherwise he is fired. Obviously, uh, pre pre it, yeah, pretty sure I heard that. Contract. It's in the contract. I read it myself with my own two eyes. Yeah, and wow, just jumps over immediately. He, we have to act like like we think that he knows the character. We don't. He doesn't. No, I, that's absolutely not. I just love like watching the movement from Tolan because it's uh. She's got a lot of hops. She's got a lot of like cool like baits and punishes sort of deal going on. She's the on. closest thing to a punch girl you'll get in this game. Yeah, which is probably the girl I probably should be playing. Yeah, here we go. Rock paper scissors. It's like rock paper scissors not play duck. Yeah. <laughs> it's like uh. Oh, I'm not gonna do it. So the rock, paper, the, the 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 Big Bang Theory. Rock the, paper scissors is their spot. Yeah, that one. I used to know that entire monologue. Like, I have mixed feelings about Big Bang Theory now, but it was decent, like for the first four seasons or so. Pancake. Yeah, I'll give you that. Yep, wake up super and oh, that's guard impact. That is something I've been seeing Soviet Siegfried doing like a, quite a bit tonight. Um, I don't know if like he's done it before or like known he could do it before, but I definitely like that he's looking for these uh, or he's making these call outs on this aggression. Um, oh my gosh. Boxing. Oh wow. man! This is just who can uh, who can get that last touch? Yeah, who can uh, punish first? Wow! All right, catches him out of the air. Yeah, but there oh, it is. yep, the yep. third Tom hit has three hits in her super. If you get hit by any of them, the full super rocks. Yeah, I have seen some players get, or quite a few players get caught by that. She also has a Superman punch. 
Yeah, just the lunge forward and did we break a ring there? Yeah, we did break a ring. Okay. Yeah, this stage is definitely interesting. I like the idea of having like these rings that like have to be broken before you can actually do um, uh, ring outs. Again, wake up super connects this time, and he should be hanging on by just a pixel. No, oh, that killed. Okay. I mean, it, it it isn't like that yellow like line that is where a super will kill absolutely but like some supers do a little before some do a little after because like that is i believe like i want to say 60. Why, why does that super that has three hits on block do more damage than like the average super because i assume that that's the average super um uh, bar there or like amount of health but yeah siegfried taking that first game 3-1 Ooh, curse this evil. Oh, the edge. Oof. Ooh. Kurt. God, guy go dark flame master on him. <laughs> no, yeah. He, I have talked nah. to him multiple times about tr at finally truly becoming a weeb. And he... Tr and he pushes me off every time. He... Uh, so Soviet Siegfried will forever be a macho man main. He will always be playing one of the, the big manly boys. I definitely respect it. There are some cool uh Dumbbells is a good anime. Dumbbells? Dumbbells is a good oh, anime. Yeah, we have to switch to the Mitsurugi though. Um I I don't know if like Joey's just not feeling the uh the grow tonight. Um <laughs> uh, and we're on a uh, loser's quarters still, by the way. We are uh this is the make it into yeah. Make it into uh loser's semis here. To, Fight up, fight against streets. Yeah, the one stage that is truly not canon. Yeah, yeah. This is like kind of a scary stage because it seems like it's kind of small, like a bit, and like there's a good like half of it is a is a ring out stage, and the other half is being walls. Seems like it's pretty easy to get a ring out if you're not careful here, and we're looking at it pretty close here. Joey's not kick, able to get anything kick, started. Kick. Ring perfect ring out. Yeah, which Soviet Sigrid has had so much momentum there that even the ring out would have mattered too much. Joy would have had a really big hill to climb. Uh. Okay, goes for the break attack there. Trying to weaken that guard a bit. Grimly for you know. Gosh. And he got the behind. Yeah, I don't think Joey is uh doesn't quite realize he's playing Mitsurugi, not Talon. Doesn't have quite as fast the buttons and not able to punish as much or make it his turn as easily as uh, as Talon. Um, goes for the unblockable. I don't know how intentional like some of these unblockables are for these players. Um, I assume some of them are just accidents. Guard crush. Ooh. No, oh, but punch. nothing. Critical I think, edge. I think he didn't realize he was in like stance and maybe he like didn't like know what to do out of stance. Oh, I don't fully know. Oh, guard break, I think, or armor break. Yeah, even that ride back up. This has been a really fast game. Just like whenever one Good of them grab. gets any kind of momentum, like they're just not letting the other one like breathe at all. And did he press anything? No, but he's gonna, no, that was safe. Oh yeah, wow. Siegfried is safe. I forgot about that. Okay, imagine having a safe super. Oh my gosh, it's gonna super all day long. Yeah, who needs meter? Pancake. Ugh. Give him the flapjack. Oh, good tech, or late tech, but still, we teched it at the very least. Ugh. And that's- And Sean is man. now fired. That, yep. It was nice knowing you, Sean. So if it's Siegfried, you, you, you won, but at what cost? Was it worth it? Yeah, that was that man. If you blinked, like you missed that game too. <laughs> it really did. That was and that was like five rounds. Like that wasn't even like a three zero or anything. It was just like <laughs> one of them got a hit and then they just won. Yeah, <laughs> it was just the end. <sighs> so yeah, that'll mean that Soviet Siegfried and Streets will be playing in loser semis. Uh, but before then. We're gonna be having uh, our winners finals match coming up. Streets, not sorry, not streets. 
Solio versus Slim King. Too many Who guesses. Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? Streets is definitely like in that contention for like those. I mean, he is top three for sure. Yeah. Um, at least when I was watching him play uh, Slim King, he was having a really hard time with the nightmare. Yeah, um, the so. nightmare is the nightmare is very oppressive, and sl and uh, Slim definitely knows how to work it and work it well. Yeah, and it's again one of those kind of things where um, I think once like the more that I'm watching actual Soul Calibur, the more I'm realizing, all right, not only do you need to um, understand how to do your mix, but you have to understand how other people's mixes, like their pressure. Like once they get anything started, like yeah. how do you combat that? What's your patience? What, what's what are the, your actual real options you need to go, go for here for these coin flips versus just, you know, Welcome constantly getting hit over and over again. And, yeah, it's not necessarily uh, like, a point where like, you have defense to steal back a turn, but you have to understand Roll. when you per actually understand. can through your own options, yeah, like, and, through your own attacks. Right, because, like, you have to make sure you guess right on wake up, and then once you're actually, like, on your feet, you got to make sure it's your turn at all, because it may not be your turn after <laughs> after you've, like, guessed Welcome right the after the... Uh, after the knockdown. But yeah, Sully on Slim King, so they uh, play each other a good bit, from what I understand. Um, we've... Are we gonna see the Grow Nightmare? Uh, I don't know. Nightmare. Looks like we're gonna see the Grow okay, Nightmare. Okay, good, we're gonna have some, uh, we're gonna have some, some really good Soul Calibur out here. We're not gonna know fully the the full. Uh, I wanna see uh, some Soul Charge grow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're not gonna be able to fully understand all the intricacies here, but. Uh, we'll do our best, guys, to... I'm sure Solio and Slim King will come back and watch this, so forgive us. N not for what we say, but for the players that we are. <laughs> but here we go. Solio versus Slim King. Winner's finals. Take him to the docks. And just playing this, like, poke game right now. Just trying to go for these quick options. Figure out what they kind of want to do defensively. Break attack into the low. Wow, I, I guess that's plus because it looked like it was still his turn. Okay. Uh -huh. He's at the edge here and, and gets him low. Yep. Yeah. A lot of lows coming out from Solio. That seems to be kind of like that's gross. Yeah, Gro just seems to have like a lot of. Gro has a lot of good lows. They're so fast. They seem like they're all pretty safe. Uh, good. He at least he at least teched it there. Okay. Oh, good GI. Into Break attack. Oh my gosh, that was really smart there. He could have stolen his turn back out of the GI, but opts to just break the guard and get a bigger punish. Okay. Yeah, get off me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that move looked like it auto EGI'd. And just the low. Yeah, watch them feet. Yeah, that's the thing about 3D games. You gotta react low, but uh, it's always a little hard. And this like seems like it can be kind of hard for uh, for Nightmare because Gro seems like he's pretty quick. Um, he's got some pretty good mix-up buttons that are fast, and Nightmare's buttons, from what I understand, are pretty slow. They don't have a lot of startup. Um, his vortex looks like it's really good though. It's just a matter of like how does Slim King get his vortex started so that Solio has to guess all these mix-ups. Oh, there we go. And that's how we start it. Oh, and just then, out of range. And oh, then wow. that's how... Oh, wait, no. Wait, what? Oh, okay, that's what he did. <laughs> yeah, the the nightmare explosion. Dude, he just uh, sacrificed himself to beat Majin Buu. Don't worry about it. Okay. Ooh, good GI there. Got a nice launcher. Yeah, Slim King kind of turtling up a bit because he doesn't want to, like, accidentally press something and get, you know, out-frame dated by Gro. Yeah, Nightmare, again, one of the more studied matchups against uh, every character because you know what everyone is like. You know what? Nightmare is cool and good because he is. That's what it's, it seems like a lot of people like gravitate towards Nightmare because he is good. And it's the kind of thing where if you don't know how to deal with it, like it's uh, the problem. And just like if you don't know how to deal with lows, it's also kind of a problem for you. It's only just taking that game one with another sweep. Aw. Oh. What? Oh, dang. How are the boys doing? We're uh, <laughs> getting a P plus update here. Okay. Understood. Yeah. Uh, oh, checking the buttons. Oh, no, no, he switched it to the um, to the Astaroth. Yeah, he's got a different button layout for Astaroth. Cool. Astaroth, like, he's got some pretty fun voice lines. <laughs> he's got a. Uh, 
Astaroth uh, is weird, dude. He, he, he is weird, but uh, I was at um, DreamHack and watching some uh, Soul Cow there, and there were like quite a few Astaroth. I think it was maybe one or two Astaroth players, but the crowd was just going nuts over the voice lines. Oh, I love this stage. There's no ring outs, but it looks so cool. It's pretty nice, yeah. Yeah, we're going to go for some more command grab mix-ups here with this big boy. Yeah, who needs actual mixes when you can just command grab? <laughs> okay. Okay. That fast little axe swing looks so goofy. But yeah, with that super or that flash looks like it's pretty easy to take that command grab. But oh, that crush. Uh. Yeah, good sidestep there. Yeah, a lot of these vertical, uh, these horizontal, no, vertical getting beat out. But ow, you know what? <laughs> kick, kick, kick. Slim King was like, all right, I learned my lesson. I kept getting it hit by lows, so let me just throw out my own. Oh, there we go. Good sidestep. Oh, try to... I guess he can, like, OTG grab people. Sidestep. Yep. Yeah. Uh, good tech. Soul charge. Get off me. Oh, okay, we're good, though. We're able to shoulder dash like completely out of that situation. Oh, that's got to be unblockable, right? With that much charge? I don't think it's unblockable. It didn't have the fire. Okay. So it's only the the only attacks that are, are unblockable are the fire ones? Don't quote me on okay. that because that could have definitely been something. I'm just not sure enough. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. I was, like, kind of questioning the use of soul charge there because Sully was sitting at a pixel, but I guess was able to use a soul charge-specific move to get out of that situation and take the round. From Slim King. Guard oh, no. crush. Alright. Astaroth is in a thong. I'm gonna go by the mall real quick, pick up some new clothes. Alright. Oh my gosh. I'm not sure like what he caught him doing there, but yeah, that was a very quick round in Silio's favor. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's, Slim King doesn't want to deal with this pressure at all. The Solio gets his vortex going, at least now that they've played like a bit. Solio kind of understands the mix-ups he needs to do. Ooh! Whoa. Played about your friends? God, yeah, really. Oh my god, Lowe's! Okay, yeah, break attack there. Our guard's still looking pretty good, and oh! Whiff punish on the command grab. Oh, that was weird. All right, yeah. get get to the meter immediately. Spins it. Yeah, I think I agree. It seems like the options and new moves that Astaroth gets in Soul Charge like make it well worth it to do. Like I think, I don't know if that's an exclusive move to Soul Charge, but it's like no, it super gets busted good. in Soul Charge though. It looks like it does so much like guard damage, and it's like plus on top of that. Like what? Why is it still the big boy's turn after he just spins around like a top for a bit? But I guess you know. This is just kind of a Beyblade battle, I guess, right? Absolutely. It's just they're just hey, playing Beyblade. He literally a wild mode. Oh god. Here we go. Full edge activated. Gonna take that game too. The battle is over. He literally teleports behind him. And he's dead. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so goofy how like fall like how high up they go and flip so much. There were a couple of times I was watching Soviet Siegfried get some like really meaty hits on some people and they would just like fly across the screen on the ground. Something really satisfying about that. But yeah, we're sticking with Gastroth. Uh, this is uh, this is 2-0 right now. This is 2-0 uh, in Solio's favor. Bobby. Yeah. And it's interesting that uh, Slim King is still opting to go to Astaroth here. Um, I guess he just like is hoping for a little bit more matchman experience because like you were saying um nightmare seems to be a pretty popular character in general so i can I mean, understand the thing about is what we just saw he gets like four hits he wins the match i guess that's also fair so maybe that's kind of part of the thinking here too where you know what maybe i don't want to play all these uh footsies and like guess a whole bunch here let's just go ahead and get my few meaty hits and, that was and let's end grabs. it yeah uh, yeah, that is a lot of damage, you're right. It has to eat the meat. Oh, actually, no, it does not, not, does not have to eat the meat. We're just going to soul charge out of that situation. Ooh, okay. That's okay. Still makes it safe with that with that spin. Now, he will soul charge. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> See, I said teleports Jeez. behind him. Oh my gosh. This is just this is just Noctis right now. We're just playing Final Fantasy 15. No, that's Aswell. Oh, is it Aswell? Aswell is laughing because Noctis. Is he really? He looks too like I don't know. Evil. Flamboyant? <laughs> Noctis is fairly flamboyant, I guess. Okay, but yeah, man, again, just once you get this mix going, it's so hard to deal with, and that low profile is gonna take out that take that game or round three. Oh no, this is really bad for Slim King. Soul Charge, get out of there. Okay. Yeah, he just so get sidestepped though. Yeah, that. So that's kind of worked out for Slim King before, like when he goes for that uh, that shoulder bash, and whenever if he whiffs from a uh, solo sidestepping, um, well, doesn't matter anymore. Like he's usually got away with it, but Solio caught on and very very quickly made the adaptations he needed to to just suffocate Slim King and just take it to that game three with two perfects in a row. Yeah, that's gonna be just a solid 3-0. Yeah. So yeah, that's gonna be uh Solio's sitting pretty comfortable in grand finals. Yep. Um speaking of grand finals, how are our boys? <laughs> uh I think they're streaming it. If you could yeah, it's on uh YouTube. because um, I can't string yeah, they can't string PM on Twitch. Which is <laughs> Which is weird. I I, I I guess I understand. K shoot it's apparently can stream been... on Twitch and like K in like Step Mania. And like a bunch of other stuff. I think it's that something fully like crowdsourced. It, it's something about Nintendo, I think, because it's been a band for a while. Uh, Jay was telling me about this, um, why they were, uh, why they have to do it on YouTube and not on Twitch. So, yep. Yeah, the boy Deku's is just like you know what? Hey, work. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dip for an entire weekend for LTC, and I'm like. All right, I guess. Same thing with another one of my coworkers, who is competing in Tekken. Yeah, they they don't have Soul Cal at LTC, right? They do not. They do not. Yeah, yeah so it was, it's just there. yeah. <laughs> I think I, I think you and Slim would be there, in Street. Yeah. Which I don't because I don't think they're doing any FGC stuff today anyway, aside from uh, Smash doubles. Yeah. That seems to be the only thing they're doing. Um, uh, yeah, they're doing doubles for a lot of different games. Mm -hmm. so, oh yeah, right, because they have like Slap City and Brawlhalla. And... Yeah, they're doing. Uh, I don't know. They're, if... doing, they're doing singles for Slap City and Rivals. Okay. 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 Oh yeah, Rivals. I forget that Do you game exists. Commentate? No, you're good. <laughs> you're good. Just chill. You, you're just gonna chill. I mean, like you're actually competent in this. That's fine. It's okay. He can look. When I ask questions now, you can. I'll have somebody with actual information that can give hey, me. There we go. <laughs> Beat my head down here. There we go. Yeah. You got triple commentary now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, triple commentary to try to figure out who our top three is gonna be here at sh cross dimensional showdown 11. eleven. I was trying my best not to say Freaky Friday. Cross dimensional, <laughs> like cross freaky, dimensional showdown. freaky showdown, super sword spectacular. What 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 did Cast call it? What 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 did Cast call uh, two weeks ago when we did? Uh, Call it something spectacular. Super duper Saiyan blaster. Uh, no, 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 no. Not, not the. Uh, not, 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 <laughs> not, not the OCs. But yeah, uh, I don't know if this is a run back or not. I don't know if Streets and Soviet. Well, no, no, no. Because it was Soviet and um, uh, Slim King that played on winner side. Yep. So yeah, this is the first time these two are meeting in bracket. So yeah, interested to see uh, how these two are gonna play. Tech. Yeah, it gets the late tech there. I believe that there are two different techs. There's like the perfect tech, which is that right there, where they both are uh, equal distance from each other. Then the late tech, which is when one falls on the ground, and I believe is at a disadvantage. Doesn't have as much for our. Doesn't have like it's still safe, but like it's definitely not your turn. All right, it's confirmed. Omega knows more about Soul Call than I do. Oh. Well, I I don't remember where I got this information from. Maybe I'm making it up. But oh, slice him in the back. Okay. There we go. Oh man, almost close enough to get that ring out. Do it again. Okay. okay, yeah. This is pressure though. Soviet's having a hard time. Guard or no, Streets is guard. Not looking good. Gets the break, but Soviet not sure how to Soviet get a get a follow back. Just like 
gets a guard break and then just doesn't press the button. Yeah, I don't think he's like expecting it. And then when it does happen, I don't know if he's like ready. Even then, most of the time, you should be able to like panic press like A and you should be able to get A hit out and yeah. at least keep the pressure on. Fair enough. He may not actually know it's like what it is and it, that it is his turn. But yeah, oh my gosh. Again, this. Edge burns it. Yeah. Edge again. Oh, oh, got caught though. Oh, it's a counter attack. Okay. It was a counter, so push the button and die. Ah, uh, I see. Ooh, just gonna shoot some flames in his face. Nice yeah. Yes, it is water. There you go. Yeah. Gonna quickly take that first game. This is a best of three. Um, we are in loser semis territory, so we're not gonna see any uh, best of fives until uh, losers finals here. But yep, here we go, going right into game two. Ooh, he's the GI, but no follow up there. Not close enough for the grab. And yep, reverse ledge. Have not seen that in a couple of games. Ooh, yeah, up the block, but ooh, uh, tried to press something after the first hit. Oh, goodbye. Oh, there it is. Hey, goes for a perfect. No, the, no, you ain't. Excuse me, sir. Your pancakes are ready. Man, did I hear something about delicious pancakes? Delicious pancakes. Ooh. I just made fly flinch. So one thing that's interesting that Soviet is doing, uh, anytime that these reverse ledges come up, he's just opting the block. He doesn't want to play the mix up at or the rock paper scissors game at all. But that's lame. Always try to play rock paper scissors. <laughs> I don't blame him because like, you know, because he's not the one that initiated. Oh, oh what? Oh, that was such a cool ring up. Was what? that a running grab? That was no. Don't skip it. That was cool. I want to actually see what happened there. Oh. Strong break okay, attack. We got there. Bonds for a reason. Uh, yep, juggle there. Not able to get too much off of that though. Uh, hit him with the grab. Unblockable, no! Don't push a button, don't push a button. You're yeah, right there. Wake up, Yurden. Yurden. Yeah. Okay. Yurden. Yurden. Yurden splurden. What, 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 whatever Polish word you want to give it. Yeah, like uh. the the push one is Ard. The um, fire is Igni. Igni, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, strong hit in the back, but wow, actually not able to get any kind of combo off of it. I forgot what the mind one was called. And yeah, again, <laughs> the back throw gonna seal that out for streets 2-0. Sending him straight back into the run back against Slim King. Losers finals. Losers finals. We're gonna get out of here soon. Well, we still got we got Sam Show. Yeah, we got Sam Show. Yeah, 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 Sam Show. You want to order some pizza? Do I? Oof. Oh. Oh yeah. How long are you uh, are you around for, Bobby? Okay. Cool. That's fair. I, I know like barely anything about Sam show. Neither do I. I, mean, I. Apparently, I know more about this game than I thought. Welcome to the stage of history retold. Talking about some degeneracy here. Not on Wednesdays. Save it for Wednesdays, boys. We are here. We're we're playing the manly games, the real FGC community out here. Wait. Not wait, not the on. frauds in the anime community or the Smash community. We Sorry, are. <laughs> We are playing only men in this top three. Only Gerald. Geralt. Jerry. Jerry, Jerry, of, the, Jerry of the River. Jerry of the River. I get my memes and my actual names mixed up here. But Baldo, coming out from Slim King. All right. Still still a man. Not manly, but, you know, kind of making me even worse Literally insane. It. Literally does not have a mind. He has been corrupted by Soul Edge. To only search for Soul Edge. Gotcha, but yeah, here we go. Loser finals. Yeah, I know Voldo is weird. I know he's got like it's like backstand stuff. He's got weird like crawls or something. Oh, Ooh. still got caught. Yeah, man, even after the sidestep. Oh my gosh, yeah, I don't know if uh, Streets is gonna be fully ready for this. Which it may not. It seems like Slim King doesn't fully uh, know what he's doing himself either. <laughs> I just don't like the fact that he moves without moving. He just moonwalks. He's a really big Michael Jackson fan. Don't worry about it. 
Yeah, uh -huh. see, there's the back stance. Yeah. So weird, but yeah, we're gonna GI through all of that pressure. Don't wanna deal with it at all, but good answer there. And actually doesn't get that much damage for it. Okay, yeah. Trying to force his turn still, Streets, after that attack, going for the counter. Soul charge. Uh -huh, get off me. Ooh. Good back stance. Guard break. Yeah, he's dead. Goodbye. Up, down. Yeah, man, all those are so weird. Yeah, and I, I don't know how much Slim King has played this character. He's kind of like keeping it pretty simple, like with um, just basic Soul Cal stuff, like using Soul Charge to get him off of him. Not really going for like any like mixes or any like, once his pressure is going, like no uh, like frame traps or like anything on Wake Up. But never mind, right there, he just kind of proves me wrong. Yeah, there we go, going for the Yurden. Yeah, again. again. Yeah, it is never your turn. Why are you pressing buttons on me? Oh, Get out of my hard. sight! Double <laughs> hard. Switch to switch to a different character. Yeah, I imagine we'll see the switch there, cause like that was definitely Slim King having some fun there, like just trying to have a good time, but uh, <sighs> not about to throw away another game to uh to streets. This is Loser's Switch Finals, right? This is Loser's Finals. So this right. is a first Welcome to three, to of best of five, whatever you want to call it. Can I go to Waffle House? <laughs> I'm probably going to go home shortly after this. Um, I'm actually... But Waffle House, dude. I mean... Look, I'm sure we'll get Nightmare to serve you up some pancakes. Nice and fine. No. Oh god, I've lost JT. But here we go. Now we got the actual. Like we don't even have like the As the, the Astroth coming out. We have like the big boy himself. We got the nightmare that put in a lot of work against streets in the inner side. We got just like he's he, he's just gonna win. Yeah. I mean Streets has had some time to like, you know, think about it and figure out what's going on. So let's see the adaptations here. Blocks. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go. Oh, he wins it! So this is a big punish. Oh my gosh, the follow-up unblockable. Again, like this pressure, like once you get something going, it's kind of hard to stop. <laughs> uh, it's in the corner, gotta be careful. But yeah, just, just kind of hard. He had enough meter to keep, yeah, throwing out those signs and hard him off the cliff. Yeah, no counters or anything like that. I think uh, that's probably for the best because I think Slim King is. Uh, pretty wary of it right now and with the slower buttons of nightmare there's a chance that slim king could accidentally get around the counters um so you know we got meter for other oh my god barely in a range to get that ring out oh just the toss them yeah uh, gets the grab uh. that also can ring out yeah good sidestep there yeah streets is being a bit um he he does, or he's doing what he can to get the pressure off of him and to like keep his turn going, because he knows that if he lets Slim King get any kind of pressure or anything going, it's gonna be uh, miles harder, or a lot, lot harder to uh, make any kind of uh, return his pressure at all. There's some damage. All right, here we go. What's the guess? Oh no. Not too much though. Okay, yeah. Oh, there's the low. Yep, that was the the full mix there. The the mid of the low. Yep. So that is one one right now. Did you just buy that? Yeah. I I. Nice. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't think Streets has any other characters, so um, probably not, not gonna see any switches. Period. Okay. Oh, yeah, gets the grab. All right, what's the mix? Oh, all right, there we go. Roll forward. I'm not ready for it. Yep, reverse ledge. Stop it. I want it to be my turn. Uh, okay. Wow, okay, all right. Nightmare able to get a punch out before uh, G uh, Geralt can do anything. Okay. 
Yep, reverse ledge. Oh, uh, was that... Was it the low that caught it, or... I thought it was only, like, break attacks that could, uh... No, 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 he probably started the, uh, the actual, like, attack itself and got hit out of it. Okay, yeah, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not getting stepped on today. Sorry, that is not my king. <laughs> oh, we got the corner. Oh my gosh, wow. And no punish on the, uh, Yarden. Yarden. Oh, there we go. If at first you don't succeed... Yarden again. Okay, so yeah. Get off me. R, just R him. That move is pretty quick. Is it like... What exactly does that move do? Is it just like a... It's a push. It's just a push? I assume it takes meter, because I know his signs do... Or yes. can take meter um, to use. Which is one of the interesting things about uh, Geralt. Okay. Yep, reverse ledge again. Gonna forever not be your turn. Oh, guard break. Get some pretty decent damage, but yeah. Yeah, the unblockable setups, like I feel like, are like either hard reads, or like they've already buffered an input, or uh, like some kind of crazy setup that's an actual 50-50. Oh my gosh, he's almost dead. Oh my gosh, go for the super, and that worked. Stands, Igni. Slice. That's a pretty nice super. Ever fight a witcher? Guess not. Oh. Guess not, he says. Man, yeah, these reversal edges, like Slim King was like doing a good job earlier on, like adapting to him, but like he looks like he's very content to play the mix-up game and not looking for it um at quite the right spaces. Okay, ooh, I think he got hit out of the counter. Ooh, but messes up and gets grabbed for it. That's a lot of damage. Wow. Do grabs normally do that much damage? No. Certain stuff, grabs sometimes do more depending on where and how you grab them and what the grab is. I got you. Okay, yeah, there. Caught him out of the startup after the uh, after he was charging. That's gonna be two one. All right, yeah. Got some good adaptations there. It's it's. I think Streets is just being a lot smarter about where he's going for these reversal edges, and it's throwing Slim King off, because it's not like he's waking up and doing it anymore. It's like only during certain, after certain strings, he's going for it to uh, um, make sure it's still his turn or that Slim King doesn't have a chance to get any kind of pressure going, like right there. But yeah, Slim King's starting to catch on, going for some uh, better block strings there to like kind of option select it, I think. Oh no, this is bad. Kind of put now he's in the corner, yeah. and but it doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't. We he was gonna die before our ring out was gonna happen there. Uh, stab him. Yeah, and here we go. This is the problem. Like once Slim King's able to get any kind of like or gets uh, streets to block at all, it's just such a problem for him. He just doesn't know how to deal with the mix fully. Oh my gosh, he's dead. Yeah, he just gets into terror charge and then kills him. Yeah, Streets has to find another way to like deal with this pressure. Which we'll probably see some uh, some Yurdens coming out here in a little bit because Slim King is showing absolutely no respect on these wake-ups. He's just going for it constantly. There we go. All right, able to finally get a reversal edge off. Get to Slim King's... No, no, yeah. But now he has pressure, hard. I think that's probably the smart call for Slim King because um, the only way that Streets has really been winning those exchanges is Wow, that was uh, a really by, quick 3-0. Yeah. Going in the game five, though. Oh, cool. Wow. All right, here we go. Game five. Yeah, I, Streets needs to make some more adaptations here. Gotta find out. I don't know, like, because the the reversal edge is not doing him much good, and I think he's too afraid to go for these uh, Gurdens. Yeah, break attack. That's the next step. Like, Slim King is so confident about when these reversal edges are coming out. Okay. Okay, there we go. Yeah, he's probably gonna block here. Yeah. 
option just not to deal with the mix-up at all. Because again, that's how Streets is able to get any kind of advantage going is by forcing Slim King to go for the guessing game. And oh, but the oh. grab. Yeah. 100% optimal. But yeah, this is it. This is the this is game point for Slim King. Streets has to find, I don't know. I, I don't know like what he can do different here because without like having to fully go back and study everything. Alright, soul charge, get off me. Okay. Oh yeah, see? It's I think he needs to just stop going for the soul uh, the reversal edges here. And the low. It's gonna be 3-2 in Slim King's favor. Street so gonna see Slim and Solio and Grand. Again. Yeah, that was just really good adaptation from Slim King. Like, he uh, kind of recognized what went wrong in uh, well, the one game he lost um, as Nightmare. Yeah. Kind of realized uh, why Streets was able to get any kind of, like, advantage or one-up on him. And then just went just, there. he just baited it out every time. Like, yeah, every he, did, time. he did not let Streets get anything going. And any pressure that he was able to get, like, it was just kind of... It stopped after, like, three hits. And it yeah. was then uh, Slim King's turn. So, I don't know, maybe more kicks? Maybe, like, faster options? Faster options are always smart. Uh, I mean, it's I not feel like... feel like some pressure. Yeah, I, I think, like, taking it down to more fundamental level there. Um, I mean, obviously, like, you know, learn more of the mix-ups of, like, that Geralt can do to, like, actually apply that pressure in the Soul Calibur fashion. But if you're going to play the FGC version of that and just, like, play the just the raw neutral and the raw, like, um, footsies there, then, like, just stick with pokes, stick with the very short things that you know. Um... Oh, yeah. So yeah, now Slim King Solio. How close do you think this will be? I'm gonna say six seventy thirty. Seventy thirty. So but like are we talking like a 3-1, like a 3-2, like a 3-0? I'm talking there's like a 70% chance in, in each of them that Solio's just going to wipe it. And there's a 30% chance that Slim King can actually play. So you think it'll be a 3-0 or a 3-2 in Slim King's favor? Yeah. Like a 3-0 for Solio or a 3-2 Slim King? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I... I mean, we'll, we'll see like how serious they're going to take this. Last time they were in Grand Finals, it was a... Uh, kind of not memes all around but it was secondaries they weren't allowed to go through mains what, what, what um, are you saying jojo but hang on what's I got a dollar on slim king. you got joey's got a dollar on slim king all right i'll, 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 I'll match that i'll sell you wow all right there you go I'm, I'm not i'm not throwing any hat into this because it all depends on like what these two decide to do like are they gonna play are they playing for real or are they playing for fun but no we're playing for real we are out here with the mains we are with the full edge on deck. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> he's getting the power up. <laughs> Joey, tell him about the our little side bet back here. Whoa, understood. Do I actually? <laughs> I got. Oh 10. my god! Hey, listen to your mother. You have a gambling. That's a gambling not my problem. mother, but yes, I do have a gambling addiction. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> Explains all the gotchas. <laughs> it really is. All right, here we go. It does. It's not the same. It's not the same. So yeah, this is gonna be. Ooh, uh, I, I don't know. I think this is gonna be take a second for Slim King to kind of like readjust here and uh, not think about reverse ledges so much. But yeah, these, all these lows. Oh my. Awesome. All that pressure gone to waste. This game is whack. This game is absolutely this, this game whack. Is, this game is whack. My man just robbed Solio from that round. Here we go. Do you see it again? No, he's not gonna. Solio won't fall for it again. He's gonna keep the pressure up. Oh, that stagger. Do it again. Okay, yeah, got the knockdown there. Finally able to get some kind of pressure going, but reverse edge. Did we guess right? Oh, okay. So oh, we got the same. Oh, and yeah, that's death. The ver the horizontal versus the kick. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised that Slim King opted to play the the game there and not or play the the guessing game there and not just go for the block. 
Can can Block get beaten out? And and then uh, it depends. Okay, 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 okay. So then it's it's, it's so it's not like a a uh, I don't want to play the game option. Oh wow! Calls out the teleport. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Like he's uh, Slim King is very aware of like how gross these teleport mixups can be. So often to save some of these. Oh. Get off the options for when the teleports happen. Yikes. Alright, yeah, two on so far. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh no, not close Spacing. enough for the grab, but get off me. GI. Yep, soul charge. Oh, man, they all want so much space. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Oh, my gosh, like those mix ups, like. Can you even react to those girl mix ups? Or do you just have to, like, guess? Oh my god. Wait, that rings out? Wow. <laughs> Over the fence. Man, that was a tough spot for Slim King. Like, he had no guard. Was just getting grow mixed. No. Not close enough there. Yeah, so this is Limiter's Unleashed here. This is going to be really hard for Slim King to make anything happen. Oh, oh there we go. Gets, gets the kick. Okay. Wow, actually, Solio being pretty patient here. Yeah, just waiting for his time and trying to go for the rules. Lethal hit. Okay. All right, does that Caritar. power up? Caritar is what it's called? Yes. Car okay. Oh. But yeah, Solio takes that game one, though. Let order seep into your that dollar's it's mine, Jojo. God, it's... <laughs> Like, I, it, it seems like it's just really hard for Slim King to, like, once he's actually blocking uh, Solio's mix, um, it seems like it's just really hard for him to, like, get anything going aside from, like, I don't know, maybe going, for, he can maybe go for a reversal edge, because uh, I know Nightmare's frame data, not the greatest, um, so I don't know if, like, what options he could actually go for to, like, try to steal his turn back. Oh, wow, yeah. Uh, that was kind of a greedy punch there from Solio, so... Being able to block this time. Wow. GI'd. Yeah, I think it's a. I assume that move probably auto GI's. Oh yeah. But it's been putting in a pretty good amount of work for Slim King. I don't know like if he can just do it at any point or if it's like locked behind like carry charge. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's that's like a scary situation because if you're in the corner like that, like I don't know. It seems like it's pretty easy to panic because <laughs> you can literally die at any second. Alright, alright, what's the mix there? Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, what's to keep it his turn? That's why he goes with the soul charge there. Oh my gosh. But he's got Again, yeah, he's, stuff. yeah, it's grow and he's in the corner. Like, it's. I don't know. It's like, since he's having such a hard time dealing with the pressure. Like, even though he's blocking it all, like, it just, it, crush. it just ends in a guard crush every time. That was gonna be a KO ring out. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, but the whiff punish there. So they're getting some pretty good damage. Yeah, Slim King is letting these soul charges rock, like, pretty much any time he has meter. I mean, when you get, like, half their health on one string. I suppose that's fair. I guess I don't fully know like all the new mixes and all the new advantages that uh, Nightmare specifically gets with Soul Charge. Um, oh wow, this is a pretty good chunk of damage. Unblockable, really. Ooh, wow. Uh, was that an auto GI? What was that? That's weird. Yep, we're yep. getting pressure. Because Solio is also recognizing that, like, any time that he has any kind of pressure on Slim King, Slim King just having such a hard time dealing with it. Just carry him to the <laughs> ring out. And then, like, the pressure that, like, <laughs> Gro gets in Soul Charge too. it's like... You have to, like, guess so many, like, different directions and different timings and, like, new At moves are opened to, up. At least you don't have 
to like guess high low. Or, or, I, or, you don't have to I, guess left right. I know I know there's not cross ups in this game. I'm getting crossed up. And I'm getting opened up from cross ups that don't exist in this game because of how gross it looks. Okay, ooh, and the wall. The wall bounce. Alright, what's the mix? Oh wow, but yeah, the GI was baited out and punished accordingly. Okay, yeah, good sidestep there. Yep. Break attack, trying to weaken that guard. Ooh, I like that grab there. Good guard impact. Okay. Yep, slow charge it up. Yeah, that, that, that was good there, because that was very, uh, those kind of mix ups that Soul has been getting, like, it's been really hard for some King to deal with, so just opt in to save Soul Charge for that specific situation, and alright, kicks him out of the air. Oh my gosh! <laughs> The damage, the nightmare damage, and this is it. This is Slim King's chance to finally get on the board here. Lethal hit. Air charge. All right, he got this pressure here, but is able to block. Soil's guard not looking too great here. Gonna have to be very careful if he gets, if uh, Slim King gets his turn back at all. Yeah, pushes a button. Let's get see that soul charge. Oh my gosh! Jumps over the low. The low. <laughs> Teleports behind you. Oh no. Slim King's landing this, like, run away from him, and oh no. He had such a good lead that round two, and Solio had, like, no guard left. Like, he just had to get one good hit. Uh, I guess, uh, one good break attack on that would have been enough. Okay. Huh. Are you ready? Oh gosh, yeah, there it is. The guard impact. The guard or the guard crush, yeah. Too many, uh, too many terms in this game share similar words. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Somehow uses that nightmare move to get that grow, uh, hey, spin to whip. Uh, oh. oh no. But now we got a grow with no meter in final round. That is true. This is Slim King's opportunity. He has to find a way to take this round, otherwise he is out. Otherwise the tournament's over. That too. <laughs> yeah, definitely not looking too great. Oh no, oh, especially with that bad side vertical. Step. What oh what what are you doing there, Solio? He's just like sitting there like, you know what, you can go for whatever wake up option you want. I don't care. What is he And oh. Oh my gosh, we're gonna get a call back to winner's finals with that nice little Wait, leg on, sweep. Joey! Joey! Oh, no. Let order seep into your soul. I had faith for a bit I there. I had a little bit of faith. I had some faith. But I know the history. So yeah, Solio gonna take that one. 3-0. That was a good last game though. Like that was that, that was pretty that was close. Very good last game. Yes. Also, I have not lost a bet with freak with any freak yet because the other bet i had was yeah with yeah you. yeah it was with me uh maybe i'll have to find a way to tell you down there but yeah that's solio gonna take that one 3-0 let me uh Don't let me bet. talk to this man a bit so all right First off, congratulations Thank for you. taking another free or another uh, <laughs> it's, it's it's freaks, but like no, no no another uh, another cross dimensional showdown. So I, I was called, I was gonna call it freaks, but that's like what we call the Smash stuff technically. But so first off, how you feeling? I'm feeling good. Uh, not as good as I should, because I feel like I autopilot and uh, every now and then and. I've recently figured it out in some friendly sets with a better player than me that I, I do autopilot and Slim caught on to some things and it took me too long to adapt. But uh, I won the games anyway, so I can't complain too much, you know? Yeah, it just in general, it seemed like he was having a hard time dealing with gross pressure. Like anytime you were able to get anything going, like he just, he'd either have to like um, uh, soul charge or like actually just soul charge, honestly, to get off, get you off of him. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, what was uh, what were you thinking going into fighting Nightmare, just in general? 
you got to use some lows every now and then. Uh, you can't try to step too much. There's a couple of stance things that he does that if you try to step it, you'll get hit. And I knew that. So I tried to, to be careful of that. I still got hit by a couple things trying to step out of strings, uh, which is, you know, on me, of course. But you've, you've just got to be careful of his pressure. And sometimes eating guard damage is better than eating, you know, a 30 year health bar. So that is true. There was a moment there in that, uh, uh, in game three where like he just did so much guard damage to you and you had like pretty low health and you still managed to pull it back. Yeah. Um, so it's was that was that yeah. the uh third round it was it was the third round three. yeah i think it was um yeah, yeah i didn't yeah. want to lose a game <laughs> yeah yeah that's <laughs> I didn't fair want to lose a game. <laughs> you're getting a little confident there towards the fifth round in that last game like oh let, with the uh unblockable setup well that like you just like you knocked him down and like you just let him get back up you just like looked at him for a bit i was i was trying to do some weird mind games yeah i got you thank you appreciate it but uh yeah i was I, I could have gone for Oki, but I wanted to to fake him out. So I, I think I, what I did was I ran up, I stared at him for a second, yeah. and I hoped he would low block. So I did 3B to launch, he didn't low block. So after that, I went for the, an unblockable cancel setup. He step guarded it, which I have no idea what in his mind told him to guard after that step, but he did it and didn't get hit, so good on him. <laughs> he didn't fall for my shenanigans. But yeah, I, I had a good lead. And I was just trying to get creative with landing the last hit because, you know, you can you can hit a uh, 2K, just a little low kick on them. But it's minus on hit. And because of a system called Guts, a poke like that does half health when they get oh, too low. Oh, there's Guts in this game. I didn't yeah. know that. So, oh, okay. So I, I, I could have gone for a small poke like that, but I wanted to try and do something different. Just, you know, managing the risk of it. I got you. That, that, that makes a lot of sense. No um, mic volume. No, no mic volume what on which mic oh Probably, he said yeah. he said we're uh, good okay so yeah I, I i didn't want to go for something too risky if i didn't have to instead uh nightmare can't punish grows 3b i knew he would turtle up so that's what i that's what i went for i got you well any other thoughts on people you played in the bracket tonight i believe you played joey <laughs> slim king twice um who's the other person you played uh, it was Infinity Ring. It was Infinity yeah, Ring. Yeah, one. Yeah, because yeah, Infinity Ring is his first time playing. So here's uh, my thought, and after this, of course, we'll get into Samurai Showdown. Here's my thought on Joey. Number one, I picked up Mitsurugi yesterday, and my Mitsurugi is <laughs> better than his. That's what Streets was saying. Yeah. <laughs> that you had just picked up the character. Number two, Mr. Joseph. Oh my god. You put god. a dollar on Slim King in Grand Finals simply because I beat you in bracket. Now, it's not my fault that you're a complete scrub, my friend. Oh, my God. Ah! <laughs> but that being said, that being said, I'm going to teach him how to play Mitsurugi from the little that I know so he doesn't suck completely. And once he's wow. actually decent, I hope he can place at least third because I'm telling you, Joey, I'm telling you, you can win Sam Show over a bunch of frauds, but you can't beat me in Soul Calibur no matter how much advice I give you. You'll never do it. Dang. The lowdown. Dang. The lowdown. The the lowdown. Low you mean? Well, actually, I'm taking Solio's side on this one. I'm gonna take Solio's side here. Right. My man. No, 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 no. My man out here. He plays so many different fighting games. He's he's got the fundamentals. He could be great in any single one of these games if he actually took the time to study and lab, and practice or do anything like that. But instead, he wants to win on guts alone. I'm going to Evo on guts alone. Which is respectable, <laughs> but it's like you could do so much I better. I play with my heart, dude. You play with your heart, I play with but my you heart. can play with your mind too. Just imagine. That's, you really just want imagine. To like that? You have to put a little more hours yeah. in if you want to get ready. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna teach him how to play a little bit of Mitsurugi, and uh, I would teach him how to play Grow, but that character is unsavable for him. He's just oh, that bad. Oh. So, <laughs> oh my gosh. So I know I'll teach your him. Weakness. I know your weakness. <laughs> I saw the Voldo. Did you, you know what? I saw the Voldo. Did you? Yeah, you should. Man, Solio out here represent, representing Arlington, Texas, trying to call out some freaks, boys. 